Hello, good evening, good light evening, everybody. Sora, congrats on getting first. Hello, hello, hello. We're back with some more, some more Final Fantasy 16. Back with some more. Uh, I want to see, I want to see how far I can get into the into the game without being distracted by side quests. Maybe. Hi, chat chat. Hello, replay. Now now your morning is much better, right? <laughs> But yes, chat. Drink water. Drink water. A kitsushi. No. No Morgana. No, no, no. But how's everyone's day been? Day, night. How you all been? Where do I need to go? Martha's rest. Oh, there we go. Much better? I mean, yeah. Because I'm here. <laughs> because I'm here now. Everyone's day is much better. Winter, make winter time makes up for the hell time? Hell yeah. The Akashic attacked us out of the blue. And there's no telling when they might be back. You best keep that sword handy, Sid. Oh, you'll be fine. You you won't die. Ow. Martha. It's good to see you. And you, Clive. Jill? Otto said you've been attacked by a Kashik. What exactly happened here? Those skies are what happened. I got Not long red. after they fell dark. We had our first visit. There were hundreds of them. Tried to storm the hell. Only a handful made it up here. But that was more than enough. The rest are still down there now. And while we have a few willing fighters holding them back, they're sorely outnumbered. What do you think, Clive? That we join the fight. I thought you'd never offer. Hello? Now, now by the end of the game, the gate. I care so much about... Fiercest. You can't be crying. Know you've come to help. Something tells me they'll be pleased to see you. We're on our way. Do you think there you is cared so much Martha about says. even the side characters? You might have cried out a little bit, just a tad little bit. To be honest, like if I was playing this by myself and not streaming, I would probably be bawling my eyes out. But because I'm streaming, I'm so conscious of the fact that I'm streaming. I'll probably be like, I'll probably tear up, but I won't actually like sniffle or anything. So yeah, I'll, I'll probably be very conscious of the fact that I am. I don't want to cry on stream. <laughs> I would probably bore like a baby if I was playing this offline by myself. Hold on a minute. How am I looking on night tones? Slightly over pretty good. Oh, so the last elixir is like a automatically? Okie dokie. Schools be coming through. I would have a good cry and I'm probably sniffling and have like half a tissue box gone. Hmm, red. Clive, wounded. Oh. We deal with the Akashic first. <laughs> Up in the air, you go. Oh, it is a lovely weather. <laughs> I 
have been done now. Now, will there be a oh shit wrong button kind of thing? and it gets yeeted up in the air. Probably will start off with like amazing music These already. Men don't have the look of hired swords. If you've come to rob this place. You are mistaken, my Lord Rosfield. We're here by Madame Martha's leave. How do you know my name? Forgive me, my lord. There wasn't time for introductions. We're with the Guardians of the Flame. Wadesmen? But how did you come to be here? Where is your commander? So Wade left earlier with a scouting party to find out where the Akashic were coming from. Did he? Take your wounded back to the inn. Martha will see you're looked after. We'll join you in on. To be honest, I feel like I'm not ready to have this game finish. Wait. And to think you took them for thieves. A fine reward for holding off the horde, that is. Why was when did Wade and his men arrive? I didn't get any notifications, but why? The Guardians what? asked me to shelter some of them that had lost their homes. They were making ready to leave just as the skies turned. Did someone clear it? Best we stuck together. Martha, trouble. Bleeping. The scouting party. Or is this or is everything just being broken? Their heels, and they got wounded with them. They're not gonna make it. Damn it all. God damn it. <laughs> we'll worry about them, Martha. You look after everyone here. If any can still fight, send them to the lift. <sighs> I will. You two be safe now. They send the lift. But Yoshi P was just asked about DLC in an interview and said he said that he would discuss the possibility. <gasps> hey, let's go. Mad dogs. Yeah, I'm excited. What can we do with DLCs? Oh, so much, so much possibilities that could happen. We need a a DLC where Jill and Clive go on a date. That's what we need. So we can all Clive, third wheel together. I need you to get those who can still walk up the lift to Martha's. But what about? I didn't ask, Oscar. Sir. Sir Wade. Lord Rossfield. If you aren't a sight for sore eyes. A romance Martha symbol, Clive and, some and Jill. Yeah. And by the looks of it, we thought we could sneak by them, but we didn't know there would be so many. How could we have? Have to avoid gas pop blocking, right? Behind you! Oh my, a turtle! Oh, no, it's not the turtle! Damn it! We need to get the injured to safety. Why did that turtle walk so fast? Do you think we can hold them off? We can certainly try. Are you with us, Sir Wade? Hmm. Always. Then let's do our duty. Come on, witch! Let's go, witch! Oh, 
Shrooney. Not that one. I, I don't know what a turtle is, to be honest. <laughs> I can't see it. There you are. Are you going Big bowl of dinner. Oh. Oh. No, wrong button. Fuck. Ay, ay, ay. I will add to the counter after. Fuck's sake. that I was gonna press triangle but no I didn't press triangle dumbass I don't know how I dodged that in the whip but okay I'll catch that to switch the button for rebirth. Look, if I switch the button then I'll, then I'll, then I'll probably think that rebirth is going to be square and I'll press the wrong button again. Because once you're used to the one button, you're switching like, is oh fuck hurt? no. I don't think so. And yet again, you've pulled me from the flames. It's just a pity I keep walking into. You always have to be sexed on a triangle. I'm used to You've never been one to shy away from danger, so wait. Like any shield worthy of the name. I see you're all in one piece. Martha! Is something wrong? The lookout saw smoke coming from down East Pool Way. Too thick to be a hearth. A second horde. Feel like finishing the job? Always. Jill and I will make for East Pool. You'll need to move the injured without us. Don't you worry about them. The moment my men are safe, I'll follow. Good luck. To East we go. Oh, wait. Wait, what does it mean by the hand of Hyperion? Torbu! Oh. I want me on Torbu. After it! 
Welcome to the Torgo Petting City Simulator. Where all we do is just pet the dog. Pet the woofy. Boy. Such a good boy, right? He is. This man's gonna die if we don't get him to a healer. To be honest, that guy sounds like he's gonna say die if not die. Togo makes you miss having dogs. You know, I remember when I was young saying like, I wanted a husky. And then from all of the videos that I've seen of huskies, they're so fucking loud. I'm like, thank god I never went with that. Gooblins. They're headed for the rest. Where are they heading to? Here? Huskies are a ton of work. Somebody's the last dog I had were related to huskies but smaller. Medium sized dogs are large. Mm. Did I miss anything? No, you didn't miss anything. Only the first round to wait. Shall we? I think we have no one more doing. Ah. My battle strategy always blow you away every time. I just go for the easy way out, like, you know. If it re if it makes me not use too much better button smashing, hell yeah. Do you see any more? No. I think that was the last of them. Not with the buttons. It won't be long before the next lot arrive. Then we make for Martha as well we can. I know it shocks you every single time you see it. You gotta help that pun? What did you find out there? Stop the punning before I get, I stuff you in the bun. Scores of Akashic. Well, wherever they came from, they're gone now. Our lookouts say the lowlands are clear. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have enough time to lick our wounds. How many of your men were injured? A damn sight less than if you hadn't turned up. Thank you. It was a hard-fought victory. 
But as long as the skies remain dark, I fear the Akashic's I'm numbers are only going to rise. It's not a matter of if the Horde will be back, but when. And whether that's sooner or later, we'll need to be ready. The inn here affords a good view of the land, and is easily defendable. I'd like to make this one of our outposts. What do you say, Martha? You'd have more men to guard the rest. Well, when you put it like that, of course they can stay. Not my fault, we'll make a pun at the smallest spark. Gotta strike at the opportunity. Are we leveling up? No? Yes, we are. I'll never be burnt out on puns, damn. You're just like a pun galore, aren't you? A guardian score. My lord. There's someone I'd like you to meet. At least it's fun. If you threw your dad jokes at me, I'll probably go in oh, my head yeah. sometimes. It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Lord Rossfield. I am Oscar. Oscar of House Murdoch. Murdoch? I wasn't aware the Lord Commander had children. Oh, he didn't. But his brother, my father, did. I am Sir Rodney's nephew. <clears throat> well, go on then. It's not for me to ask him. Yes, so wait. Dad jokes are indeed funny, but it goes over my head sometimes. Will you marry me? If sir? it please you, my Lord Marquis, might you take me as your squire? I would learn the duties of a shield from the finest. <sighs> I'm sorry to disappoint you, Oscar. But I'm a shield no longer, nor was I ever the finest. And spending time in the company of an outlaw hardly seems a fitting education for one aspiring to take his oaths. My Aunt Hannah once told me that a man is not defined by his title, but what he does in its name. You have accomplished much since taking on the mantle of Sid, winning no little honor in so doing. And I would sooner serve under an honorable outlaw than an unworthy shield. N n not that so Wade and the other guardians are. I mean to say that uh, the. It's all right. We know what you mean. There is only so much the boy can learn from me, my lord. But a squire. Would that really be so bad? You were a squire once. And I'm certain Sir Rodney would approve. Know that I'll show you as much leniency as your uncle showed me. I would not have it any other way. Winter, a lot of things go over your head is not a very high target. Hey. Me now. Thank you for her touch. Sid. Your new companion appears much more formidable than your uncle. Should I be worried? Ah. Uh, you have to Oh, you hit the point, not like how dare. Jill. Clive has told me much about you. All lies, I'm sure. Your stolas said that Dalamil has a bandit problem. Indeed. Although you're a little late. They left with our food and gill days ago. Any idea where they went? The desert's a big place. Your guess is as good as mine. Oh. But the fact is, I have more immediate <laughs> concerns. What did you say to me? What did you say? Ah, as if by magic. Let's just say we've yet to reach a consensus about how to solve Dalimil's little Damn, problem. Damn, you... And at this rate, upgrade, it won't upgrade, be the actions of the bandits which prove to be our undoing. It will be our own. Now, I've tried reasoning with the dissenting parties, but even the desert hare has limits. Perhaps we could talk to them. 
What makes you think they'll listen to us? What makes you think they won't? Oh, yeah, That's a fair point, Sid. Oh. And you won't have wasted much of your precious time if you fail. They're just across the courtyard. Suppose we just follow the shouting. I never bully. You wouldn't talk like that if it had been your men whose throats were slit. Blood for blood, it's the only way. We hire mercenaries and have them mount the bandits' heads on our walls as a lesson to the rest. And what happens when those mercenaries are slaughtered like your men? Are you going to hire more? We're better off using that coin to buy food and supplies. If we hire mercenaries, the only thing we're buying is the bandit's ire. And you cannot fill empty bellies with that. Do you hear me? But what happens when they come back? Maybe it'll be your throat that's slit. That's enough. Both of you. Any more of this and I'll throw you out myself. Come back when you're ready to talk like adults. Ooh, that's the burn. Don't you worry, we'll take care of your bandit problems. Victor. What's he doing here? Sid. And Lady Jill. What brings you here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Costness is in chaos, and the markets have all but ceased to operate. The Briar's mm. Kiss here in Dalamil is the only place I can reliably obtain We're supplies. We're gonna go raid the bandit's face. I was here to do just that when Master Lubor told me of his troubles. He thought I might be able to talk some sense into these fools. But if you're here, I suppose his patience must be waning. Who are those people? Those were the thorns in Lubor's side. And the reason this place might be headed the same way as Kostnis. It's these accursed skies. The darkness is enough to drive a man to madness. Or an entire city already? for that matter. Have some We're left over to save the lunch today and I want to eat it really. But in the meantime, what's for lunch? Perhaps we can find a solution to Dalamil's problems. I hope so. For all our sakes. What's for lunch? Mongol with veggies for fry. <gasps> that sounds so nice. So, you see my predicament? What I saw was a room full of people who were angry and afraid. And with good reason by the sound of it. But if left to smolder, that anger and fear could set the entire town alight. My thoughts exactly. Uh, what to do? Both sides wish to protect their homes and livelihoods, if only they could agree on how. But as long as they are divided, we are vulnerable. And if there's one thing bandits like, it's an easy target. What would Sid the Outlaw suggest? We go wipe them out. Well, if it were my namesake... He'd let them choose for themselves, and be on hand to pick up the pieces when it all went wrong. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. <sighs> a recipe for disaster is precisely what it is. But perhaps that realization would be enough to make them question the ingredients. While it's plain neither Conrad nor Natalie will countenance the other's proposal, it may still be possible to make them doubt their own. Before presenting them with a third option. And that would be? To pool our resources and save the city ourselves. Why fight each other? When all that fear and anger can be directed to the bandits. It appears we have a plan of action. Victor, pay Conrad a visit. See if you can't convince him of his folly. I'll speak with Natalie. As you wish. 
Hmm. Your faces are not well known in this town. That may prove useful. Don't worry. Victor and I will do most of the talking. You need only play along. Play along. What he means to say is yes. <laughs> Always set aside um, for lunch when you have it. Nice. That's good. That's good. Picture it, Conrad. Ah, here she is. Subscribe is a bad liar. Oh, he is. Conrad, may I introduce you to Jane, commander of the Red Wings? The oldest mercenary guild in the free cities. A pleasure, my lady. I love how it's the so dark er, now. Earlier now, it's like so bright. As I told you, I summoned the commander here from Canberra to inquire about a contract. Victor says you told him no, that there aren't any men left to hire. Is that true? True as the crystals cracked. Nobles came and claimed every last one worth his salt, and not just from us Red Wings. You know of the seven high houses. There must be two score swords assigned each one. Granted, we have a few boys left. If it's boys you're looking for. Well, Conrad, are you Red saying that Dallin's finest cannot haven't, defend this town better than a gaggle of unblooded striplings? That a band of beardless youths could better avenge the deaths know. of your brave men than you yourselves? Absolutely not. We'll show those bastards who they're dealing with. I can't believe that actually worked. Conrad's not what you call the brightest candle in the crypt. And there's a reason why I had you do the talking and not Sid. Well played, my lady. Clive, uh, Clive will probably fuck up everything you tell the truth. And now it's dark again. Why was it, why did it go like... Why did it go so bright? Uh, that's the way. And show these brutes that Dalamil is not to be trifled with. My shop. If I had my pickaxe, I would. I mean, it may still be possible to buy some. Ah, here he is now, Natalie. Allow me to introduce Lord Underhill of Randalar's prestigious League of Merchants. Uh, Lord Underhill. At your service. Underhill. I was just telling the good lady of our conversation, my lord, and how you so were funny. lamenting is so the state of the capital it. stores. Lubor says that not only are the granaries almost empty, but that war and the blight mean this season's harvest won't be enough to fill them for winter. Indeed, certainly that is the case. The nobles in the capital are buying up the city's stocks of barley and wine, driving the prices higher than most commoners can afford. It is only a matter of time before the peasants revolt. <clears throat> it is... Worse than I thought. If what Lord Underhill says is true, I fear we have little hope of supplementing our stores, meager though they regrettably are. And while I applaud your endeavors to dissuade our more bellicose citizens from seeking vengeance, I sense Conrad is not wrong in his assessment of the bandit's likely return. Which means that now, more than ever, we will need to secure what little we still have. Food, weapons, herbs, everything. If our humble town is to endure not only this hardship, but those that are certain to follow, we must stand united. All right. If it will help to protect my home, I'll do it. But you needn't have gone through this charade. Uh, she picked it up. <laughs> She's not that dumb. Thank you, Clive. Your performance was nothing if not workmanlike. She saw right through it. I didn't say it was good. 
merely that it produced the desired effect. Now, my scouts should be returning shortly. Meet me back at the Briar's Kiss, and we shall see what we face. I mean, he tried his best. Clive tried his best. I'm not convinced our roles in this ruse were entirely necessary. <laughs> I don't know. Conrad seemed quite taken with you. But I would not see any unnecessary blood spilt. We need a plan. Wasn't this here? Was this here before? Good news, Sid. Both Conrad and Natalie have somewhat gracefully accepted their new roles. With time, they may even learn to. Time no longer appears to be the luxury it was before lunch. I take it your scouts found the bandits. Technically, it would be the bandits who found my scouts. It appears they march for Dalamil as we speak. All of them. You're not serious. They don't just want food, they want the whole damn town. I have a favor to ask. I'm told the bandits march in two groups, one from the south and one from the desert, in a move doubtless intended to stretch our already gossamer thin defenses. Very well. Jill and I will meet those from the desert. But what of the rest? The rest, my friend, the city shall fight. Together. Mistakes I concede are high. But if this does not unite Dalamil, nothing will. That is a lot of faith to put into those who had their hands around each other's throats but a moment ago. Then it will be for us to see that their hands are kept occupied. And I do mean us. I thought you might say that. We'll hold them off for as long as we can. And we will do the same. <laughs> the women folk have come to welcome us. I'll take that one. It's all yours.
And I hate it when they do it when the enemies that you're fighting is always dead. It's like, god damn it. Is that all? The townspeople. Could they have held out? I don't hear any fighting. What do you think? That we should hurry. We should hurry, we just walks back. Natalie, I owe you an apology. You did well out there. The inn would have been lost had you not held the line. Without you, there would have been no line to hold. And why are you, you gonna saved us, love Conrad. Now? You saved Alamil. We all saved Alamil. Kiss, kiss, fall in love. Conrad seems to have had a change of heart. I'd say they both have. I take it from your presence that our visitors from the desert won't be joining us either. Pity. The plan worked, Sid. Granted, it only took an army of bloodthirsty bandits at our gate. Calm now, Victor. Why quibble over the details? We are united, and that is all that matters. As for you, Sid, you fight considerably better than you act. I'll take that as a compliment. What now? Our friends seem to have things under control. For now, at least. Let's go and put Otto's mind at rest. Is there going to be more side quests after this? Did you see that? Tell me you saw that. Ah, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Is everything we've received and everything promised? All yours. All done? How many? Oh, five thousand ish. Oh, where? Ah, oh. thanks. Technically, I can put this. Nah, I think I'd rather put. Judgment bow and cycling together. And I'll throw gorge down next to the power drive. Oops. So you keep Now I just gotta remember. I just gotta remember. 
and not accidentally pressing this for this. Ooh. I think once I grab a bunch more of ability points, I'll probably throw it to Giga Flare and then I'll put Giga Flare next to Flame of, Re Flame of Rebirth and I'll probably yeet Ignition and replace it with I'll probably yeet out Gorge and then replace it with the Ignition instead what for now? How are you doing? Quick look. Seen enough? Did you play so good for big damage during staggers, eh? So with this guy, a vampire Dalmechia. I would, melt I would melt halfway of the boss's HP sometimes doing stagger plus LB plus bigger flare. Do I remember what it is? Mm, not at all. That's not the one. What am I looking for? Um, the troll look-alike one. This one. The Ten of Clubs. Fields of Karaba. Where is Fields of Karaba? I am bad with remembering where where the maps are and which one it is in. Oh, is he in a desert? Oh, is he here somewhere? And Hempstead. So this little area here. Okay, I'll probably travel to that one. Hmm. 
Where, where, where are you, my Taco Bell? Is it the easy one? Well, he's, he's earning a B, so he won't have, and he won't probably have, won't have that much uh, attack movements as well, or attack patterns. Oh, a panther! Oh, good fucking bye! You didn't exist here before. The music is so good. Enough of you are there. Only those who have nothing. Show them to your pockets.
gaining strength. Good job, thank you. A deserter turned out law. We were more similar than he knew. Oh, goodness me. Goodness gracious. I'm just staring at it, whoops. I'm just staring at it, being in a cycle and I didn't see it charging at me.
Good. One hunt down, the other one next time. Did you see that? Tell me you saw that. All right, Otto. We're done with everything. Was wondering when you turn up. Had owls from all our friends thanking you for your timely intervention. How is it you always manage to arrive at just the right moment? Luck, I suppose. Any word on the rest of the realm? Hmm, let's see. Storm's still crying out for Mother Crystals. The nations are still in chaos. And the skies are still the color of a kick in the kidneys two days on. Kick in the kidneys. So, for now? Uh, yeah, for now. Clive, we knew this was going to happen. Well, not the bleeding skies part, but you take my point. Now's not the time to second guess yourself. Now's the time to visit the infirmary. Taya says your brother's awake. Thank you, Otto. We finally reunited with Joshua. Uh, and it took us how many chapters? How long? Oh, I saw you move your head, Dion. So it was not Sylvester, but... Olivier, who served as Ultima's puppet, and when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. <sighs> Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. I would be afraid to wake. Had I but reached out to him sooner, Warned him of the threat Ultima posed. But now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. Well, then, right? Joshua. <gasps> what about Terrence? What do you know of Ultima? What about his boyfriend? <sighs> Tell me Terrence is alive somewhere. I'm afraid. Despite my best efforts. Eighteen years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care I first heard of Ultima. I've been chasing his shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you. Even if that means toppling an empire. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? That is one of many answers that have eluded me. Yet, I am certain of this. It is not mere chance. You were chosen for a reason. All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. Nigh limitless power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. But you, Clive. You are different. You're special. Your abilities begin with the flames of Ifrit, but they do not end there. The fact Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. I've encountered that thing several times now. If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? Were I to hazard a guess, I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind not properly attuned to your body. His mind? Mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. This is why I struggle and fail to contain him here inside me. I'm sorry, inside you? 
With every setting sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find a means to bring an end to him before I meet my own. What were you thinking? It was that or let him take Clive. And I've always had a soft spot for my brother. But that doesn't mean you should sacrifice yourself to save me. <coughs> Joshua. <coughs> Clive, it's Gav. <coughs> There's an army of Akashic at the gates of Canver. <laughs> oh, poor Joshua. Tell me, Gav is still alive. Well, what's the short of it? Uh, it's all tired, told you. The capital of the free cities is under siege by an army of monstrosities. The city guard are doing their best to stem the tide. But numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they able to escape? No. Well, they're all right for now. They're hiding with Gav at midship. We have to get them out of there. Hmm. Don't Hopefully this ship isn't Also, mid. prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly where he is. Understood. Vivian, what's the swiftest route to the free cities? <laughs> That sounds like a question for the map. Look here. This road, through Tabor, should provide the least trouble. Good. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. Joshua, bed is where you should be bound. You don't think I told him the exact same thing? Was I not such a talented healer? I would surely have been inclined to agree. This is stubborn. But thanks to her ministrations, I feel I may safely rejoin my attendant, who was to wait for me in Tabor if we became separate. All right, we travel together. Clive. Oh, if he stays close together. to me, he'll be fine. Thank you, brother. I'll look after him. Oh. Brothers are back. That's a lot of side quests. Besides that, that's a lot of stuff to be done. Oh, time to be distracted by side quests. The fight together again. Yeah, finally. Three quarters, three quarters of a of a of a Seems story. Oh, blasted book! Here, you put me in this situation. Life. Just one now. Let me get me out of it. I need a hand with a recipe. Are you sure it's me you're looking for? I'm not much of a cook. I'm all the cook will be needing. Thank you very much. What I want from you is a little of your time, right? Oh, and uh, perhaps your sword. You remember Ivan's stew, right? Well. Despite the look of the thing, and that awful stench, people wolf it down. So I thought I'd try making one of these supposed masterpieces myself. Had a peek at the book and gave it a go, but, well... It wasn't as straightforward as you'd hoped. Ivan had the same problem. Yeah, but this is my blooming kitchen, and I will not be outdone! So if you don't want to be seen as playing favourites, I suggest you lend me a hand. And a hand you will get. I've never been one to play favorites, Molly. And I would be only too happy to lend you a hand. So, what's on the menu this time? A fried mortress of Skyworm. That's one heck of a name, innit? Recipe seemed easy enough to an old hand like myself. Thought I'd followed it to a tea. Only, turns out Skyworm livers and Drake's mint are not what I thought they were. At least I hope they're not, given the rancid mess they made. Ivan said the recipes in the culinary pilgrimage date back centuries. Who's to say the ingredients even exist anymore? Well, wow. that's a question for a scholar, wouldn't you say? Perhaps you know of one? 
kindly old fella who haunts the shelves, maybe? Fine. I'll go and speak to Harpocrates. Perhaps he'll know something. And if he does, I'll see if I can find your ingredients for you. You do that. Lest we forget, you've got a reputation to uphold. These people are here trying to eat the most dangerous shit, I swear to god, right? Like... Why? Norseman Harpocrates. I've come to pick your brain if you don't mind. It's about the book you lent Ivan. Ah, Valisthea, a culinary pilgrimage, a classic. One of my favorites, in fact. The young man did a wonderful job with the Chancellor's stew. I do hope we shall be able to sample more such marvels in due course. That's actually why I'm here. I don't suppose you know where I might find Skyworm livers and Drake's mint. Ah. So the fabled San Briquois delicacy is next on the menu. Delightful. The descriptions of fried mortars like, oh, never more, fail more to make my mouth water. Food to eat. <sighs> now, <laughs> Skyworm is a somewhat antiquated name for the Wyvern. Their ground livers being the paste from which the mortress is made. Dragon livers. <sighs> How very San Briquois. One would have thought the disciples of Bahamut would have a touch more reverence for their icon's brethren, but apparently not. I believe the specific dragon the recipe demands is the blueback wyvern, said to be the very color of the sea beside which it resides. So we know where to look for our liver. But what about the drake's mint? Saint's bonnet, in contemporary parlance. A herb which grows along the North Reach coast. I gather that one can locate the cheerful yellow flowers by their heady scent alone, so I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding them. I may add that people once believed game was best served with the flora that sustained it in life, in which regard fried mortress of Skyworm is undoubtedly a typical dish of the time. Meaning that if I find one, I find the other. To Northreach, then. Best of luck, Clive. And do save me a bite once the dish is complete. Why did these people want to eat dangerous food so much? First was a scorpion's tail or some shit? It's Sid, perhaps you can help me solve a mystery. I can certainly try. Who's gone missing this time? It's not who, but what. Mid scales, the ones she made for her workshop. Her voice. I borrowed them to teach the little ones really about walk. weight, and shortly after the lesson, well, they vanished. Perhaps that's what you need My to first go thought sleep. was that they'd taken them off somewhere to play, but when I asked, her they saw they had nothing the to do with their having disappeared. Which almost certainly means they had everything to do with it. Perhaps a visit from Sid will jog their memories. <laughs> I think it just might. Thank you. I don't like to imagine that my pupils would lie to me. But if they have, I'll have no choice but to discipline them accordingly. They were in the atrium when I last saw them. As Did more winter reading, reading ASMR? I mean, that's gonna happen in the 12 hours, well, not 12 hours, in 24 hours. There's a storm coming, Sid. Well, 23 hours in this case. Good morrow to you, my friend. I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. If you have a question for You'll me, you'll be awake at 8 o'clock, don't worry. It. You would definitely be awake at 8 o'clock, replay. The door to the shelves <laughs> shall ever work. be open. It seems the hideaway is lost its... Oh, 
Oh god, this mole. There's more here? Already clocked in. It's okay. Rutherford? Wasn't that the name of my uncle's manservant? Why would he be at Martha's rest? Move like butler, like a criminal undercover. Where is the scarf at? Why is the scarf on the table? Why is it hung up somewhere? There's so many quests at this from this side from this point on, really? What do I owe the honor? I'm saying How many are we talking about here? And? Goots! Oh, oh my god. Is everything alright, Goots? You seem more discomposed than usual. Oh, I don't know what that means, but, but I'm in a bit of a muddle. I think Nan might be in trouble, and she's... <laughs> it's all right. You can tell me. <sighs> there was a trader came by. One of our usuals, like... Said he'd heard some rotten rumours about her down Dallymill Way. Focus saying she's been selling to bandits and cutthroats and that. I mean, she's fond of a chance to make a coin or two, aye, but... But she'd never do business with baddies. Especially not the kind who go hurting people who haven't done out. I wanted to ask her about it myself, but... I'm scared she'll give us a tongue lashing. She'd never give your tongue a lashing, though, would she? Don't worry. I'll speak to her. Oh, thanks, Clive. Here's You'll let me know what she bear. says, won't you? Big baby beer. Of course. <laughs> I'm sure it's all just point. a misunderstanding. I want to ask, but I don't want to get scolded, basically. Lady Karen. How's business? Not nearly as foul as the weather. You're doing good trade, then. Both... In and out of the hideaway. Hmm. Can't complain. Wait. What exactly are you getting at? Not once in five long years do you pay my affairs half a care. But here you are today, <laughs> raking me over the coals like a bloody popotto. Just asking. Out of interest. All right. I'm here because I was told that certain rumors have been circulating. I like how Clive's eyes are like looking up and down. It's like oh. About you selling weapons to brigands. Oh, are you? And who was it who knows me so well as to tell tales of my evil exploits? I, I, I didn't exactly hear firsthand. All I know is that someone in Dalamil has been spreading word to that effect. And what? You believe it? You think I'm profiting off the blood of innocence, do you? Look. Oh, here comes the Karen. I've done things I'm not proud of. Might be there were a time when I turned a blind eye to the wretchedness of the world so I could line my pocket. But that woman is no more. And you'd know that if you'd ever paid the slightest bit of notice. You're right, Lady Karen. I apologize. It was wrong of me to doubt you. No, it was. No. I reckon you've got better things to do than pointing your do-gooding finger at a poor old woman. Of course. 
Good day. Good day. Hello again. Clive. Go on then. You'll not find a better price than that. I reckon I can find a buyer. I'll be thankful you got that much. Is that all? I spoke with Lady Karen. What did she say? That the rumors were unfounded, and that I was a fool for thinking they might hold any truth, along with some other things that made her feelings clear. And while it sounds like she may have done things she regretted in her past, she says those days are behind her. Oh, well, that's good. I knew Nan wasn't caught up in out bad. Karen terrifies me, right? Why would people say she was? What did she ever do to them? It's not right. No, it's not. But people do things for all sorts of reasons. Perhaps we'll never know. Karen would probably just I'm throw, me, throw a book at me and be like, oh, What did I do wrong? He said they were all talking about her in Dalimil. So that's where I'm going. I'll find someone who'll tell me. You'll see. Are you sure that's wise? Whoever's spreading these rumors means Karen ill. Oh, right. But that's why you'll be coming with me, isn't it, Clive? <sighs> I suppose it is. We should do. I say we should just tell Miss Shirley. We'll get us all st Sid! Out of your studies, I see. And what is that? Go to everybody's body to serve, right? Is it? No. Of course it isn't. Well, not anymore, it's not. <gasps> oh! And just how long hasn't it been one? We're sorry. But we didn't break them. We just dis dismembered them. Just like Miss Mididol showed us. Miss Mididol? And why would she have you dismembering her creations? Because that's the only way to become a ninja near. Miss Mididol said. Ninja near, engineer. The best way oh to see God. how something worked is to take it apart and put it back together again. Well, then, your work is already half done. Carry on. Uh... About that. The taking apart was easy enough, but... It's the putting back we can't work out. Speak for yourself. The heavy thing goes at the bottom. Then... Then... Brain go <laughs> You three need to learn to take responsibility for your actions. You three are examples of so why let's have a look at these parts with fresh eyes, shall we? Right. All right. Everything here was once part of Miss Mididol's scales. Every piece has its own role to play, and each is just as important as the others. If even one of them is missing, the scales won't work. So let's think about what those roles might be. You already know one of the pieces. The body. Its role is to support everything else. But what of the others? This is called the arm. Why do you suppose that is? It doesn't look much like an arm. You're right. It looks more like a wing. <gasps> Like a chocobo wing! You've ridden a chocobo before, haven't you, Sid? 
will you teach me to ride one one day? I'll think about it. Now, what do arms do? Hold things. So wait, maybe this arm holds things too? Good thinking. You're on the right track. These round parts are called the pans. You all know what a pan is, don't you? I do. Molly uses them in the kitchens to fry bangers. But these aren't for frying bangers, you idiot. They're for weighing stuff. But what if I wanted to weigh goots? I don't think you'd fit on oh that little God. thing. Oh my God, good. <laughs> Probably not. What are the chains a for? A of bangers? Hell would I know. Up? Well spotted. Which means something must hold the chains up in turn. This tiny piece is what's called a cogwheel or gear. Have you ever seen one before? I have. Miss Minidol's dungeon is full of them. Most are on the floor. She puts them in all her inventions. They spin round and round and round and round and. That's right. They're very useful when you want to make things move. Do you remember if there was anything on the scales that moved? I remember the arm moved when I tried weighing an apple. And then somebody ate it. Not my fault. You shouldn't have tried weighing it before lunch. We know what part's supposed to move and how it's supposed to move. So, let's put the pieces together first, see what doesn't move, and then stick the cogwheel to that. Not a bad idea. You see? It's not so difficult. So, now that we've taken stock of the parts and learned what they do, what do you think? I think we've got it. Then here's what we'll do. You tell me what goes where, and I'll put the scales together. Well, obviously you need to start with the body. All the other pieces fit onto it, don't they? And the arms go on the body, just like real arms. Or wings, if you're a chocobo. And then the arms hold the pans by the chains. Very good. Let's see if that works. Ah, all finished. Yes, we did it. Well, with Sid's help. <laughs> oh, I just put the pieces together. It was you three engineers who showed me how. That's right. We miss Mididol's hairs. Her hairs? Yeah, hairs for the future. She's showing us her secrets now so we can help out the hideaway when we're older. What do you think, Sid? I'm your hair. Are you almost ready? <laughs> With a little more help from Miss Mididol and Miss Shirley, I'd say it won't be long at all. <laughs> Sid, you forgot, you, that? you forgot the, uh, it won't be long. you. Until then, though, do try to be honest with Miss Shirley. Hey, who got the gear? Hey, look. We never used the cogwheel. Right. You don't think Sid forgot about it, do you? I'm like, I was just staring at him after he walked away. <laughs> I can't, that is such a meme. You can just meme that shit right there. <laughs> Oh god. That was funny. I love this game so much, right? So fun. Alright, Moogoo, what else do we have here? More things! A lone rolling boat has been sighted making land of coastal. What? Oh, there's a pack. Wait. Did you see that? Oh, 
as much as the world is kind of slightly ending a bit, the sky is pretty. There's a storm coming soon. Will there be... Well, did you solve the mystery? It was as you thought. The children had the scales, or the parts of them at least. They dismantled them to see how they worked. Oh, no, Mid will have my head. Thankfully she won't. This might even have been her idea. Although I was the one who ended up teaching the lesson. I'm so sorry, Sid. I know how busy you are. I shall see that the children are properly punished. Please, the world there's no is need. ending, but at least it's free, right? It seems to have taken the three of them the under her wing. She's even Enjoy calling them the her heirs. She'd have them follow in her footsteps. And her father's. I see. Sid, do you know why Mid has been spending so much time at the hideaway of late? She told me it was because her studies have been interrupted by events in Canva. Is that not true? No, it isn't. The university offered her a commission. In exchange for full tuition, room and board, they asked her to oversee the design of several new war engines. To anyone else it would be an opportunity, but to Mid, who lost both her parents to war, it was a bitter pill. One she was none too keen to swallow. But that should come as no surprise. She's only ever cared about bringing people hope. The very last thing war can be said to do. Which explains her airs. She's working to give them a better life. And so should I. What's the odd engineering lesson? Ah, oh, you've given them far more than that. And I'm sure they're very grateful. No, so that means I can't do any of these yet before I go here. Okay. I mean, if the sc if the world's ending and the scenery is still beautiful, I'd rather take in all the beautiful sights before dying, you know? Oh. We're traveling together. So cute. Cloak and dagger. It's like a dream. The four of us out walking like we used to. Enjoying this, are you? Gav and the others could be in danger as we speak. You're right. I'm sorry. Oh, live a little Clive. Is a fine scout. If Candle was attacked, she will already have begun gathering information. Tabor isn't far. We should pick up the pace. <laughs> Now, time to walk everywhere but the waypoint. The gang's all about together. Hell yeah! Look guys, I'm touching grass. I'm touching grass. I 
I see enemies over there. I see them plant lookalikes. Oh, you're not a plant. You're like, go ask your wyvern. Stop, ah, wrong button. Oh, wrong button to the I can go to other places now. Good. Good. Focused. There were ghosts at the gates, not days. You needn't fret. In the meadows, then. What is that big thing over there? The thing the goblin. Shut up. Stop barking. Anyway, it's back to that thing over there.
already over? No. Because he got three shot. Oh no. said I should be able to find what I'm looking for somewhere nearby. Here we go, right? blue dragons and bright yellow flowers. This must be our wyvern. Right. Let's get this over with. This one. again. Three hours of life? Hey, let's go. Oh, go by quickly. It stopped pressing it by accident. That's the wyvern's liver. Now I just need to find the herbs. Bright yellow with a heady scent. I think that's everything Molly needs to resurrect her recipe. What do you plan to have for lunch, Ripley? Martha's got a big heart. It's a pity. Sorry, but if you're looking for a bed, there's not. The fate seemed bent on driving me from my inn. My lord, yeah. Marcus, is... it is you. Then you received my letter. I am Sebastian Rutherford, chief steward of your lord uncle's estate. Of course. We met once before. Yes, my lord. Thank you for coming. And what was so sensitive that you couldn't put it in writing? A thousand apologies, my lord. I did not mean to offend. I merely... It's all right. Continue. I am here at Martha's rest, at the behest of your lord uncle, tasked with learning what I am able of the realm's current state of affairs. And what I have learned is grim. The fall of the Mother Crystals has left Storm in a state of utter disarray. The subsequent darkening of the heavens has only made things worse. Akashic attacks, once unthinkable, are now commonplace. 
The gears of governance have ground to a halt, and without a steady hand on the tiller, the realm threatens to drift into utter chaos. Your lord uncle, uh, however, believes there is a way to avoid this fate and is determined to see it set in motion. That sounds like quite the undertaking. It is. Hence my having enlisted the aid of several colleagues serving the seven high houses. Alas. Alas. I have lost contact with two of those colleagues already. They are both able-bodied and trained in the sword, yet in these dark times even that may not prove sufficient to keep a man safe on the road. So you want me to find them? I'll need to know where they went. One I sent to investigate the Republic, the other the old Imperial capital of Oriflam. That doesn't exactly narrow it down. I suppose... I'll start in Dalamil and work my way east. Thank you, my lord. I shall pray for your success and safety. Okay, back in Dalamil we go. Go on that one, on there. Why is there so many? Side quest. Why are there it's not going so to be many easy side one quests man in an entire republic? Let's hope someone here has seen something. I Shouldn't thought there was going to be in like needs. two or three side quests, or like a whole bunch of like of the town five or six. Fuck. The finest cells Could be I know something more. Hey, Clive, listen. I found someone who there says he's heard the rumors about them. Have you? So go on. Tell him what you told me. All right. It's like I said. A wizened old crone by the name of Karen's been selling steel to whoever will pay her price, be they knight or knave. Says the more swords and spears she puts in people's hands, the more war they'll wage. And the more war being waged. I thought waged, the same and spent a long time on them. Oh god, that's gonna be me too then. And who will they all turn to to keep them in steel? Why, the good reaper herself. <laughs> and you've seen this reaper at work. I'm an imposter. Aye, it just so happens I have. You'll find her right here, plying her trade most days. Here in Delamil. Where exactly? She has a stall here in the market, but if you're not the patient type, you can probably find her at her storehouse on the edge of town. But it'd be a bolder man than me that braved that particular nest of vipers. Feeling bold, traveler? I hope so, for your sake. Now, More of you to assume that we're I not afraid. Right, not, we're not Sorry to have kept chicken you. enough. Wait, what? No. You don't think Nan's the Reaper, do Ray, you? not here. I can't well, cook. I can't do anything with sentences now. In two places at once. Eh? Replay, you took my what brain. What do you mean? Lady Karen hasn't left the hideaway in weeks. So who has been running this stall he spoke of? Good question. I'll go and have a look. And I'll visit this storehouse on the edge of town. All right, but be careful, Clive. No, no, no. Good. You should be careful. You too, Goots. Thank you. Give me, give me some of that brain cell. I need it. Why can't there be like two different exits? What's up, Winter and with Puffy? Hello, Ace! How are you, Ace? How are you? What a mess. 
Yes, replay you are a puppy. Doing pretty good. I'm glad you're doing pretty good. I'm I am overwhelmed by the fact that there's so many side quests now. It's going great. This game is absolutely Time to amazing. Brave the Viper's Nest. Ah, the shit that we came by last time. Just you, is it? <sighs> Thought I might have laid it on a bit thick. It was a fairly unconvincing tale. So, what now? That's up to you. Die a slow death, or a quick one. Boys, he's all yours. But that sword is mine. Oh, do you mean you want to stay in the uh, cycle? That's fine with me. Oh. Leave now, and we can pretend this didn't happen. Seems to be a breeze, right? I didn't think I'm a comfort streamer, I'm a chaos streamer! <laughs> That's a swing, never mind. Oh, you've done it now. Go on. <coughs> Tell me what I've done. When the Borgwin finds out you've killed his men, he'll have your head. He only wanted that bull of a manservant, the dim one always clinging to Karen's skirts. You weren't even supposed to be here. Who the hell are you anyway? What were you going to do to him? The Borgwin wanted him to get to Karen. I was only supposed to point the lump in the right direction once he arrived in Dalamil. Then you turned up. Well, go on then. If you're going to end me, end me. You're not worth the effort. Now be gone. Before I change my mind. 
fucking coward. We're anything but a coward. I need to find goods. Right now. This man did not just diss our boy goods, right? How dare. Get your filthy paws off me, you naughty painted lout. Stop calling me names! And stop spreading their horrible lies about man! <laughs> well, that will be easy enough. For they are not lies. Every last word is true. And she must pay for her crimes in blood. Blood? Goot, are you all right? He, he, he's gonna kill Nan. He said she had to pay in blood. After what she did, it is only right. She ruined my life and the lives of countless others. That loathsome harpy's very existence is a crime. And I will not allow it to continue. Goots, was it? I have no quarrel with you. Only with your employer. Run along now. You need not pay for her sins. No. No? I don't care what she did. I won't let you hurt Nan. Promise me you won't hurt her. Or I'll... Or I'll... Or I'll kill you myself! Goot, no. Enough, all of ya! <gasps> Wait, Karen? Karen? But how did you? <laughs> You're a sight less clever than you think you are, the pair of ya. Did you think I wouldn't notice the two of you slinking off together? Nothing well, if it goes Nan I. Who in Dalamil might bear me a grudge? And a certain snivelling shit I ran afoul of in my fairy years came to mind. Snivelling shit. Though it was just Bogan back then, wasn't it? I thought the years might have taught you some sense. But I see you're the same pants pissing craving you've always been. What was it we called you? Wet legs. You. You bitch. Everything that happened, it was all your fault. And now you'll finally pay for what you did to me. Uh -huh. oh. Goose, you... If you want a piece of Nan, you'll have to go through me. Fuck. <laughs> Karen glitched there for a bit there. I saw her while we did the way I can handle this myself. So, wet legs. You remember what you told me when we last met? An eye for an eye. Wise words, sir. Wise words. Okay, Karen's kind of scary. Now it's time to collect. Oh shit, he's gonna lose an eye. Karen, Karen is scary. That's not my Karen old enemy, eh? Sorry to keep you waiting. Is he... Dead? No. But I reckon he wishes he was. It's an easy going through life, one eye shot of a pair. After all, I should know. You don't mean... Oh, don't tell me you didn't notice. Lost it to old wet legs back when we were working the same routes. Wet legs? Said I'd stolen from his strong box. I'd done nothing of the sort, mind. But that didn't stop him taking his little revenge. So I took some of my own. Sorry, lost everything. His coin, his clients. Always knew he'd be back one day to claim his due. But he crossed a line dragging poor goots into this. He didn't hurt you, did he? No, Nan. Still got all my arms, see? Legs too. <laughs> but what if he comes back again? What if he does? First we take the other eye, then we work our way down. Ooh, there, she's scary. Soon enough. But something tells me the wet legs has learned it already. 
Right. Let's get you back to the hideaway. You've attracted quite enough attention already. Ta ra, Clive! Ta ra, Clive! Oh my god, what does that mean? But okay. The way she say it, she says it's so good for in trouble. I don't see your master here. So you can start by giving us all the coppers in your purse. I already told you, I have nothing. <laughs> and maybe we'll take that pretty outfit and the steel you're wearing. Uh, uh, please! These men are trying to rob me! I'll deal with this. Thank you. Are you that one's master, then? <laughs> if you kindly pay the coin he owes us, we can pretend you didn't draw your blade on Republican soldiers. Or you can go back to your garrison and I won't report you to your captain. Oh, you're more than welcome to. He hasn't had many visitors since we slit his throat. Wake and win! Oh, you got it, Expect as much from Hugo's faithful, but these were men of the fist. Much has changed in the Republican army since they lost their rock. You've seen this kind of thing before, then? Many times. I was sent here to observe the situation. You're one of Rutherford's men. He sent me to look for you. Well, then you have my thanks. I fancy I could defend myself against one, perhaps two, but a whole regiment. But I arrived in Dalamil several days ago, but when I called upon the captain of the local garrison to make inquiries, his men confiscated my effects and locked me in a cell. The captain is no more, and his men make the rules now. Fortunately, I was able to bribe my way free, only to be stopped again by those soldiers you so kindly dispatched. What of the Fist Central Command? Surely they wouldn't allow such lawlessness amongst their ranks. I would imagine they are unaware of it. Most of the army has fallen back to the capital and hunkered down behind her walls. Those who weren't recalled now rule the fringes unchecked, answering to no one but themselves. Then it's worse than we imagined. You should return to Rosaria. It's not safe here. I'll find a caravan heading north. You won't mind if I borrow one of these soldiers' coin purses? What do you think that's no longer borrowing? You're just gonna rob them and you're never gonna pay them Not back. At all. Now, to find this second associate of Rutherford's. If he was bound for Oriflam, I'll start at Northreach and see if I can pick up his trail. I didn't think there'd be so many first.
going back and forth. There's a lot of road between here and the capital. Rutherford's man could be anywhere. Yeah, he could be anywhere. It could be in the water too, maybe. Now you're saying it's somewhere here? Oh, oh, I need to see him. Oopsie. What happened here? One, one it's cycle's down, a hundred to go, bro. It better not be a hundred. They've already relieved me of my belongings. I'm not. I'm looking for someone who was sent here by a man named Rutherford. And then you found him. I'm Rutherford Alistair Rockford, Rockford. Attendant to the Lady Ariane of House Wellesley. Of the seven high houses of Rosaria. It's so beautiful. Like it does, it does. A long time since last I saw my great aunt. Is she well? My Lord Marquis? Uh, yes. Yes, she is. The Lady Dowager has granted me leave to assist your Uncle Stuart. I was on my way back from the old capital when I saw some villagers being robbed on the road here. Bandits. They looked more like field hands, but it didn't matter in the end. I did what I could to help the victims, but all it earned me was a pommel to the temple. Which way did they go? South, toward the gate. All right. I'll take care of them. Founder knows I've met enough of their kind. You head back to Northreach, visit the Vale, tell them I sent you. Thank you. I shall. Founder be your shield. They just couldn't resist, could they? All right, fellas. This one's ours, pretty boy. <laughs> Lovely weather in it. Let's start to work. This is the chat. <laughs> One frame still ever work working over time. <laughs> Death by lightning. You need that food, perhaps. For the town while you can. There may be more bandits nearby. You don't need to tell me twice. Many thanks, traveler. This looks to be all of them. I thought I told you to make for the Vale. And stand by as ill might befall the heir to the ducal throne. It's just Clive, and I'm fine, which is more than can be said for you. I will survive. I will survive. Strange that the garrison wouldn't intervene in such a brazen attack so close to their gates. The garrison have their hands full inside the city. Some days they don't even send out patrols. There are few hands left to work the fields, and even fewer to transport the grain. 
The market stalls are nearly bare, and the price for what remains is exorbitant. It's not uncommon to see a fight break out over a crust of bread. When I said the ones who attacked me didn't have the look of bandits, I meant it. They were probably just desperate. Rockford, listen to me. If you are to continue your investigation, you first need to seek the attention of a healer. I... Of course. I shall return to Northreach right away. But allow me to thank you first. Had you not happened along, I... Don't thank me. Thank Rutherford. It was he who sent me. I suppose he'll be wondering where I've got to. I shall send a Bastolus as soon as I'm able. Good day. My uncle certainly has his work cut out for him. If it isn't already too late. I should go and tell Rutherford that his colleagues are still in one piece. Another quest down. I see you're still here. The rest's location affords a constant flow of traders, and with it, a constant flow of information. Speaking of which, I received word from both my associates. They have resumed their investigations, thanks to you. I only happen to be in the right place at the right time. They both seem to think the realm's prospects rather grim. I am afraid that Grim would be putting it lightly. It's the end Storm of the is in world. crisis, and if we are to free her, we must work quickly. And we must work together. Such is your Lord Uncle's wish, as it is mine. One done, another to go. So many side quests. Oi, oi, oi. And then two down, three. One down, another one down. Nothing like a dish of cold vengeance to foul the gut. Uh, I'm sorry, Nan. I, I didn't mean to make things worse. I just thought I had to protect you. Like you've protected me. Aye. Well, someone had to. Your parents certainly didn't give a whit for your well-being. Reckon the both of us would be worse off if I'd not taken you on. You've always been me right eye, Goots. And I'd have you stay that way. So don't you dare go looking for trouble again. Well, I will. If you ever need help, I'll do it again and again. And you can't stop me. Why, you big lump. Fine. Play the hero if it makes you happy. Thanks, Nan. I won't let you down. Oh. There's nothing I think right before the end, they do like 10 sacrifices. What? Maybe. what? <laughs> but if he's ever to make his own way in life, that's a bit too to much. Looking out for himself <laughs> as well. As much as I love Dylan, side quests, that's a ten. Bit he'll too need much. people to watch his back, just like you did in Dalamil. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. Of course. His family. Stop it. You make me one good eye, mister. I don't go thinking that'll do you any favours. A potion today will cost you the same as it did yesterday.
Alright, Molly, here's your ingredient. So, did you have that word with Tomes then? I did, and he was as helpful as ever. He told me exactly where to look, in fact. And what precisely will I be cooking up? Or is it better not to know? Blueback wyvern liver. And, uh, a herb known as Saint's Bonnet. Ah. Wyvern livers, was it? Well, at least it weren't actual worms, I suppose. Now then, you stay right where you are. I've got some cooking to do. Hopefully it's not purple one. So those grand old chefs of yore knew what they were on about. Purple liquid. Oh, it's a stir fry. It's a fried. It's fried chicken! Oh, And here liver. we have it. Fried Mortress of Skyworm. So basically fried Man's chicken. to make sure it's fit for consumption. Well, I say offered. He as good as begged. And rightly so. Is there any higher honour than partaking in a slice of culinary history? So, not fit for consumption, then. What? What witchery is this? The crackle of the crust gives way to an almost violent richness. Yet, it is the piquant kiss of the saint's bonnet. Why is the reaction the so, so dramatic? As if it's poison, but then it's like, oh, it's so delicious. A force, a force of nature, even. A maelstrom of flavour and sensation. A graceful beast emerging from centuries of slumber. I think he likes it. Well, I can't quite tell with all that nonsense he's talking. But I reckon you might be right. It was decent then, I take it. Decent? It's remarkable. And I defy any man to say a word to the contrary. Sid, might I suggest that you command a party of your finest men and women to procure a dozen blueback wyverns forthwith. I'll give it some thought. This motherfucker would eat poison and give a dramatic speech about the play on right. The toxin, like this toxicity, the acid is so good, blah blah blah. Like, Jesus. Wait, done. You know, I have not once checked this. Ever since I looked at it twice. It burns just flee like a thousand. <laughs> right. Sounds like something Yvonne would do. Okay. So whatever hunt is up through the quiet seance. Sands of gold. Not gonna lie, if you look at it like this through the hole, it does. The sky does look pretty, too pretty for the world to end. Oh my eyes, all right. 
There we go. That's probably the hunt that I need to do. Oh, three big boys. One's already annoying enough for the three. The maggot bros. The mag bros. Sorry, the name I read that I always read that sandwich. Three is once a pain, right? I don't know what I'm going for, God. Except for these leftovers, a I'm kind of rich in gill, and then once I start buying again, I'm probably poor again. No more vengeance. No. No more war. How am I going with abilities? Nope, can't grab it just yet. Need now like another fifteen hundred ish, around sixteen hundred.
Gotta get the Kamehameha. Yeah, gotta get the Kamehameha. I needed that. We can use the ruins to cross the ravine. Assuming they would allow it, the echoes have a will of their own. Oh, you're the annoying one. <laughs> Trying to become a cyber and, and, and all of this is new again, right? It's too OP. Whisker cat, the long whisker cat, not having a break. Wait, I'm going to go on the correct way. Good. Oh, these motherfuckers again. Right. Cat killer. But it's not a cat though. Well, technically, it's not a cat. That judgment bolt is too OP. Like firing two times. Oh look, it's those lightsaber. Lightsaber dudes. My tasty Giga Flip. Oh my god, is that gonna be like absolutely the goat of everything? I'm gonna Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Kamehameha Go Goku. Bomb. 
cage. I'm very giga flag just to late HP. what I'm doing in this freaking cyclone. Standing there, hello? Why do, why do I have a, like a red. Get down there! What do you mean you're trying to fight me? Stay down there, what the hell? Can I cheat up from here? Nope. Them bombs be like down there, be like, hey, you're looking at a lot of rockets up there. Let me join you. Tell us about Yote, Joshua. It's a now you got this. I can't even aim for down there. She's strong willed, loyal, and deadly with a blade. Much like Clive, but with better manners. <laughs> Much like Clive, but with better manners. Did you just roast your own brother, Josh? Damn, nobody, no one's giving uh, Clive a breather. He can't act, but he's good with the sword. The fucking random rolls. Get your ass down here. Okay, probably to get down there, I need to go through here. Here, and down that way somehow. The Jane is cool, but then, unlike Clive, she has manners. What a way to race somebody. Clive never catching a break. Ramos flat. Ramos all flat. Oh, that's a lot of bluey stuff over there. You good there? Look, another side quest. You're going. injured. Yeah. What happened here? Where are your comrades? Ether flood. Up ahead. It swallowed our camp while we slept. My old men did this. Turned. Every last one of them. There's a village not far from here. Tabor. The people were kind to us. It's only a matter of time before... They won't stand a chance. We can't let those 
monsters reach the... <laughs> Hoko, you catch your breath. Thank you. The breath he's gonna catch is just one oh, last breath, perhaps. Countless up ahead. Just off the track. <laughs> they must not reach. Tabor. Forgive me. Lord Kuka. Rest well, soldier. My chair, yeah. My, my chair is quite squeaky. Especially when I try to like sit up straight and it just squeaks. Squeaky, secret lab chair. Let's hope the Akashic is still there. Another ether flood. They're everywhere now. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful. Careful? No, no, right. no. I got here in time. came for my blood into the air Is it really a chair if it doesn't squeak? True that, true that, true that. If you don't have squeaky chairs, are you really a streamer? Are you really a gamer? There's someone there! Please, I, I can't move my leg! Hmm, that doesn't sound like an Akashic. But first, dear dude, look, there's a chest. Where could this motherfucker be? Because knowing me, he's probably next to a rock and I'll be like, fuck, where is he? Oh. Look at that, next to a rock and where is he? You're with the battalion? I am. I heard the fighting. Are the others taken care of? One of your brothers in arms told me what happened and asked for help. Another survivor? Where is he? Tell me. His wounds were too deep. Where well, I thought you were dying. He was right to send you. Those things you slew are no longer my brothers. Tabor is safe thanks to you. Here, you've earned it. Is it money? No money. You seem familiar. Have we met? Yeah, I killed Kuka. You must have me confused with someone else. It is I who killed Kupka. Wait. That scar. Son of a whore. You're Sid. I was there in Kostnis when you killed my brothers. I was there in Rosalith when you killed my commander. My war with Hugo Kupka is over. 
I bear no ill will toward those who followed him. What of my ill will? Coward! Draw your I save your asses now, this is how you repay me? You better stand. When your wounds have healed and your head has cooled, come and find me if you must. Though I hazard your life would be better spent in service of those who need it. Or have you forgotten your oath to the Republic? My oath? What would you know of oaths? I know how hard they are to keep. Sean, hello, thank you for the hydration pack and the stretch package. Hello and welcome. No. <laughs> I won't be deceived. How are you? Lord Cook how you doing? told us of your crimes. You are an outlaw. A murderer, not some. Some man like you or anyone else. It has been a Nothing while indeed. Like you. But if you're not gonna kill me. Thank you for go. head parts. Leave! Ow! If not, I will find you soon. Someday. What this? Oh, you bully me. You throw things at me. Yeah, you throw things at me. <laughs> I mean, I've been doing pretty well. I've been doing pretty well. Just been uh, playing a lot of Final Fantasy 16. It's such a fun game. Is there, is there only two chests in there? Surely not. Surely it sh should be one more chest. Surely. I'm disappointed in you game. Why can't you give me three chests? My dog was as obedient as Togo, it doesn't bark every one hour or some shit, ungodly hours. Now we need- no, no, we don't need that. We don't- we should do not need that. Oh, fuck, run again. Wrong button! Wrong button, but it still did the work. What have you been up to these days, Sean? Look at that! Herbie Wars! I'm dead. Ryan Rick, hello, hello, hello. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Is there where you want the where the other one? Do you where do you want to put this? If you have no where to put it, I'll put it on top of- I'll make a totem, I guess.
How you doing? How are you? Oh, I see purple and pink roof thingy, fabric thing. We're nearly there. Have you been to Tabor before? There are a few places I haven't. Can we enter? You're not gonna. Okay, you're a watchman. Galamakian. Hmm. Where now, Joshua? There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within. How are we doing with ability point? Not enough just yet. I think I went up only like by a 200 of the loot points. But how are you doing, Lion? Nobody's here. Oh, you're there. <sighs> My Lord Marquess, it is an honor. I like how Cloud is like, oh, suspicious I person. Am I'm gonna hold. Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of his grace, Joshua Rosfield, keeper of the flame of the Phoenix. It all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. You saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Einherjar. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua. The Einherja is the royalist flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva? Then it is Waluda knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them? Yes. And the Black Galleon sails at but one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to well, run. Lewd. <laughs> well, you are free to leave, Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened howls choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The realm teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce! 
Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. How dare you? Well. Distinguished Your eyes are almost gone. You must forgive his majesty this intrusion. What did you... What is the meaning of this? A trifle crowded, but I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Then it's snappy. Very well. My colleagues, <gasps> do you not see? Under the, the sea. king he has come to save us from the Akashic. But your king is no more. He is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. <laughs> ha! So you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them and see our guests to the dungeons! <laughs> Enough. God, I just turned evil. Oh, damn, they all died. Pathetic creatures. Can't believe we ended him on As like. You should imagine he was all naked. Worthy of salvation. The girl is still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. Yes, your majesty. Come, Muthos. Surely the prince's light cannot have sated you. Jesus, one swing and everybody in that room. So then. How long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Barbie and Based his mommy know issues? Of Barnabas's actions, Gosh. I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? What does Ultima want? Or the rather Barney? Show them. Quick yes, cheer! We have a secret passage. Oh, maybe not. By the flames. Phoenix Gate, Drake's breath, and now here. But what is it? It is old, ancient, even. Nought's remains of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the apodotry meant. Even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. He wants the world that to figure burn. in the center, the one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, oh, are no, meant this to be is his the Barbie. Subjects. And while and some, Ultima like is his kin. have oh, accepted God. this role, others have rejected it, like you, Clive, which is rather inconvenient, as it appears he needs you most of all. 
And gods don't like to be disobeyed. No, I don't suppose they do. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? Uh, by all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. <sighs> Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omia lost Delan to his Sag Ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. If... if that is your wish, your grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I... You have my word. A kiss on the forehead? Are they dating? Oh. I was not expecting a kiss on the forehead. Sorry, bruise and forehead. <laughs> Farewell, my lord. My lady. We are in your debt, Yote. Oh, Literally changed his brother. I mean, they are inseparable. I was not, I was not expecting that heck on their forehead. God, she more. cares for you very deep. More. Can't believe it. More side quest. And I her, which is why I had to let her go. Are you buying or selling? If I'm not buying, what am I here for? Anything else? What a fine choice. Anything else? Got anything else for me? Ah, not bad. Got anything else for me? Ah, not bad. Joshua decided since Gav isn't around, he has to go with Clive to make sure someone is cock blocking Clive and Jill, bruh! <laughs> Alright, time. More side quests. Is that blade for hire, perchance? Because I have a mind to make a killing. Figuratively, I hope. Well, yes and no. A passing caravan carried with it a rumor most fortuitous for one in my trade, that an elder Dread Evis had been sighted in the fields of Korava. Dread Evis are aggressive beasts. Compelled as they are to acts of violence, few survive to maturity. But those that do develop a hide of phenomenal Will you value. want me to go hunt it down? Uh, do you want to sell? Eventually, yes. Though I would have it tanned first that it might be crafted into marvels, the likes of which the world has never seen. Dread Evis skin is a rare thing indeed. But the worked hide of a well-aged beast? Now, that would fetch such coin that Gilbot himself might weep with envy. Bring me that beast's skin and I will share with you the bounty of our combined labors. All right. I'll hunt your Evis. Of course you will. When one lives in such troubled times, it is a fool who lets opportunity slip his grasp. Leave Tabor through the east gate, but take the path that branches west. Once you reach the checkpoint at Tovany, 
You are a mere stone's throw from the fields of Karada. I eagerly await your safe and above all triumphant return. Dusty figure. Cyril. How fares the search? Well, your grace, my report shall be with you ere long. Ah, yes. Yote is otherwise engaged at my behest. And the duty of wardenship? Fulfilled. For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. I am Cyril, knight of the undying and bearer of the burning quill. Charged with chronicling the mortal deeds of his grace, Joshua Rosfield, keeper of the flame of the Phoenix and rightful Archduke of Rosaria. I entrusted Cyril here with overseeing the investigation see into Altamir's like origins. That? I'm just like, I Findings from read. his brothers and sisters afield are delivered here to be collated and catalogued. Just how many undying are there? Not nearly enough, milady. Yet we are glad to give our all in service to the Phoenix. Such is, and has ever been, our creed. I see. You have your associates, I have mine. But you may now think of them as ours. That won't be a problem, will it? The Phoenix is our sun, and we but the shadows that quicken in his radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve, both him and now you. Pray accept this token. Really, the phoenix down. For as long as you bear it, members of our order will reveal themselves unto you. If there is nothing further. No. You are dismissed. Your grace. It's a canva then. We'll talk about this later. Yep. Now we so, are... It will seem very... Um... You certainly keep strange bedfellows, Joshua. Stand back, friend. Don't want to get this stuff on you, believe Is there me. meant to be someone here I'm meant to talk to for... Carved in stone. Am I meant to be looking at something? Am I blind? Huh? Oh, it's up. Oh, it's up there. Never mind. I got it. But how do I get up? Oh, don't mind me, guys. I found the stairs. Don't mind me. Careful how you pack that leather. Any creases of hurt. Hey, you! Finally, no one was paying me the slightest heed. Is something wrong? At the university, the students would hang on my every word. Sadly, this far from home, I'm just a vagrant greybeard. The university? You're a scholar. A specialist in ancient cultures, the most accomplished in all Valisthea, some have said. Not that I look the part in these tattered rags. In my heyday, no obstacle could have kept me from my studies. Yet here I am, a wizened windbag, bested by the many steps of Tabor. The answers I seek lying just beyond my enfeebled reach. Would you do an old man the kindness and brave the stairs in my stead? You'll be amply rewarded, of course.
Climb the stairs and... And memorize a few inscriptions for me. Uh, assuming you know your letters, that is. Uh, some courteous soul is rumored to have carved clues to Tabor's rich history into stones dotted about the village. Uh, three of them, to be precise. One each to the north, south, and east. I'm here in the hope that those carvings might shed light on a riddle I've been pondering for some time. Namely, the otherwise undocumented origins of Tabor's unique people. A people quite unlike those of neighboring lands. I can't promise I'll remember everything perfectly. Remember what you can. I'll piece together the rest. Make for the domed pavilions, and you'll have no trouble finding the stones. Children of the hunters, now children of the land, reap her promised blessing and give praise her gracious claim. Farmers must have settled here in Tabor. Wanderers of golden plains, lay your roots in stone, but try to recall thy noble past and make this rock a home. What golden plains might the wanderers have called home, I wonder? Have you noticed the elder has been coughing? Mm, not a scratch on them. These rides will fetch a good price. You wouldn't happen to have a decent whetstone in there, would you, madam? <sighs> I'm sure I can find you. So it's these stones to Canva and the rest of the boxes to Dalma. This quest was too big brain for it, dumbass. That's gonna be me too. Guardians of the Crystal, the first stones of Tabor. Sacred hold thy noble blood till it ends with the mother's labor. Riddles and I do not go well together. I'm too dumb for this shit. I should speak to the old scholar before I forget everything I've read. Sorry, I never, I really forgot what the first one is, let alone remember everything. They're Cyril fellas are not fish, don't you think? Well, scholarly sorts like that. How are those new boots treating you? Two peas in a pod, fighting to use the shared one. Razor, like yep. Oh, what that I could have seen for myself. Oh, come, don't tease me now. What did you learn of this place and its people? Uh, let's start with the engraving to the south. South? Oh, what did I go to? Goddamn. I just went round circle. Which one? Is oh, God. Oh, probably that one. The great, good, Mughal guardians. That's definitely not right. Uh, take all the time you need. Guardians of the Republic. Breaking Mughal. Republic? Are you certain? These stones predate the founding of Dalmechia by centuries. That can't be right then. Um. 
Guardians of the Crystal, the first stones of Tabor, sacred hold Great thy king noble Mugumok. blood, Good king till Mok. ends the mother's labor. I'm pretty sure that was it. Fascinating. It would seem the founders of this city were descendants of those fallen charged with protecting the mother crystals. Okay, so we're gonna grab some... Whatever could have driven the Guardians so far from their sacred charges, oh. I wonder. The engraving to the north is next, I oh, think. Oh, never mind, this one's closing soon. God damn. Wanderers of the Golden Plains, lay your roots in stone. With pride recall thy noble past, and make these rocks a home. Or, I think that was it, at least. No doubt you're right. There are vestiges of nomadic customs in Tabor its guardian roots could never account for. This is proving most enlightening. Now, for the final stone. Children of the Hunters, now tillers of the land, reap her promised blessing and give praise her gracious hand. That's all three. And so, we add primitive farmers to Tabor's founding peoples, the final piece of the puzzle. Three engravings, one for each of the three peoples to have settled Tabor in ancient times. Guardians of the Mother Crystal? Wanderers from across the plains, and last but certainly not least, oh, hunters much turned about farmers. Yeah. Little wonder it was so difficult to trace the roots of Tabor's culture. Those roots reached down through three distinct traditions. Nonetheless, one cannot help but wonder why this fact is not better known among scholars. Given that the stones stand here for all to see. Too many stairs, perhaps. Ha! Too many by They ordered some fries and yeah. mozzarella sticks. And thank you. Yum, 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 yum. There's something to snack on. While I continue playing this for long hours. Goblin coin. Alright, alright. How are those new boots treating you? They're fantastic. Beneath the flood. Yes, and not a stone's throw away. Even any week, any week, anyone gonna be up up at this time? It's almost two fifty a.m. Oh shit! I zipped in too much. I pray hope there's someone up at this time. <laughs> <clears throat> Are you sure this is the right way, brother? Oh yes, tow the right right way, Joshua. Just like a little detour. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Hello, fellas. Oh, are you the other? Oh, the pack. The pack of, um, the pack. The pack. Of double look alike. Oh, 
my plant ow you son of a stop fighting me on the rock. Why do you have to be on the rock? I can't even get to you. You want replay? Of course, you're awake. It's only in the AMs for you. Did you don't kill? They were so annoying. Mess with the leader of the pack, eh, boy? Oh. Yeah, well, that's that's a hunt down. I'd rather the three mag brothers than the beast of the wolves. Because how dare they bite me in the butt? This way. That was so annoying, right? They were indeed very, very annoying. One of just one of them, the other one will still come look for you. I'm just like, just ignore me, would ya? I'm not here. Oh, hello, for pets. Yeah. yeah, nothing personal as well. You're not here, you know.
Alright. was easy. It's not sleep, I feel I'm getting hungry. lunch will eventually how many hours left to lunch one hour and now another Use hour hide, as requested i worried you might never return quickly let me see that's more wyvern ain't gonna kill me as a maiden's cheek yet as adamant as her virtue this is everything i had hoped for and more clearly my trust in you was not misplaced you must be a hunter of considerable talent to have bested the beast with nary a scratch join me as my honored partner with my means and your might we shall be as wealthy as the merchant kings of Zemeckis. i don't plan on making a habit of this I'm busy enough as it is. Very well. Though I believe fate had a hand in our meeting, it would be unbecoming of me to beg. Do not allow me to keep you from being about your business. Here, for the hide. Large fries. I got large fries and like six mozzarella cheese. So I'm gonna be. I mean, cheese is nice and all. It'll be enough for me to make me eat. Ooh. Mm, the, fact, the fact that we can't go up here yet. Or here. Hmm. So close yet so far. Okay, let's get on with the story. The free cities and a sea. Let's go. I really wasn't bother walking all the way.
Wait, is this name really something fodder? What's it called? Orcish fodder. Okay, why is it named fodder? My my Uber Eat app is being weird. Why are you showing the map? How would I know if they're going the correct way for my house with my food? They're having a big giant barbecue, that's not, it's okay. The 
Three men are still holding I too their can like, ignore shiny up to what are we crows? Do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be? There's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. We should hurry. What do you mean? Oops, fighting another delivery person. God damn it. I mean, I guess it is in the wee 3 a.m. Oh shit. Sounds like thunder. You're late. <laughs> We're starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. Bro, bro hug. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? <laughs> Byron be all my back. I knew you'd come. Joshua? Is that who I think it is? Yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. I were even listening most of the time. Name's Middadol. But everyone calls me Mid. My lady. Hey! <laughs> Uncle Byron. Oh, my boy, Uncle Byron. <laughs> oh. It's really you. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> So these Akashic are being controlled. That's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here Barring speaks true, Clive. Back. Yeah. We saw more than a few in the city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. But not rest. Ultima's doing. Perhaps. What of the city? The people? Uh, dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the horde arrived. Is there no one over Some in the this merchant's side? district to the west, and a Is few of us on the far me? bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district, while you look to those across the river. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. So we're gonna and go with Gav and Byron A. Let's go. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the Mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you stuck with me, Byron. Okay. Ross I can look up for Gav instead. Shall we then? And you keep Clive safe. Be careful. Both of you. You too. I guess the waiting game now starts. Who's gonna pick up my, my food? And if anyone is awake at all.
Oh wait, it's only just Toggle? That's fine, we will have some time with our best boy. Lost it so far. All right, Togel. Let's find those survivors. Look at the water. They don't stand a chance against those things. Got the order. One whack and did it. was annoying them all waiting there for me.
Because someone finding is finding you grabbing my food. Finally! That's better. Shit, somebody got deleted. But oh, where the hell did she come from? in against me, it is. Anytime I should be talking, but then the music gets to me, I'm just like, oh, I'm in awe. I just remember which part of the game this is. Do you now? Is there no chest? I mean, I think I grabbed the chest just then. Did I? Well, which part of the story am I at? How far am I into the story now? Two five zero. Wait, to upgrade it. I feel like um to I'll probably need like about five thousand just to master it. I like, suppose. Getting closer to Giga Flare. Eighty percent. Okay, well, so I did five percent in that entire three almost four hours. Damn, the side quest. The side quest be um picking a lot. Sounded big. Joshua and Jill must be busy. Yeah. 
a lovely, lovely. to send me some good OT. Holy Kamehameha! survivors inside there may not be survivors inside Caused quite the commotion. 
But then I would expect no less from you, Nuthos. You again. I don't believe we've been introduced. You were in my family's crypt. And now you're here. With an army of Akashic thralls. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men. Like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. What? And they are all that remains in this once raucous city. You'll pay for what you've done. As you wish. I confess, I have been very much looking forward to this. Pardon me, this indulgence, your majesty. The vessel shall not be spoiled. You ran fuck this creepy motherfucker? I am the man of House Harvard. And you will yield! No, 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 no. I shall or not lost. yield. As long as you don't hold back. Oh, you show my oh, god. Forgive me if my performance seems uninspired. It is just that I expected so much more from our chosen one. Perhaps this will kindle your flame? What now? A gift from my liege lord's armory. Gungnir. Watch closely, Mythos. Watching closely. Almost press square again. I just do it up, bro. Seldom enough. 
actually, I wouldn't. Nice try. Too slow. Oh, the big gun. to be honest. such annoying that's 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 why it was so annoying the fact that he kept like teleporting here and there it was so annoying gosh the vessel is strong my leash hopefully i hope he's dead for good So you, I see. We are, yes. I'm sorry, but we couldn't save them. It was over before we arrived. Well, you did what you could. I fear we were all too late. What's wrong? Nothing. I hope. I doubt he's dead. But why is it the crutch? Oh, Jesus Christ. Thunder. 
enters the Leaving map. so soon. And here Mizos. comes the novice. It's the king. Indeed. You may kneel before Barnabas Tharm, Warden of Ash and King of Walud. Get back. Another fight? Goddamn. Did my lord commander yet i see why my master covets you so the power within you mythos the potential <laughs> Purpose to surrender my mind and body to that thing. No, Your Majesty. My purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people, and nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Truly, your volition is a cancer, one that must be excised. Do we have another great fight coming? I hope Jill is gonna be not dead. I hope she lives. Power beyond reckoning. And they use it as a crutch. Such a waste. Hey, you can't just cut us cut us off there. I'm gonna pray that Jill is gonna be okay. Will you be all right? The Phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. 
This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. But why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly's filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we were up to, they'd all want a piece. All right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? <sighs> Allow me, your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking, putting you to the trouble like that. <laughs> Tis no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but you've already done so much for us, pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life, and for what? Some gill you hardly know. Why'd you do it? You got mad or something? Wouldn't go that far. Clive! You're awake, my boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so well, apparently my help. McDonald's systems are down, so world won't save my itself. delivery dude was told to Sid. wait. So I'm guessing I'm not gonna get my food until probably your father. Four told me that. Or something. Fuck. Sounds like him. Don't you dare right? do that again. And I ordered at what? What of the royalists? Three o'clock? It'll be an hour ago. God them, damn. Along with the galleon. With the king on board, no doubt. Behind here, yeah, I wouldn't sail without him. Jill, I hope Jill is okay. <sighs> Clive. To my Jill lunch. didn't come back. <gasps> what do you mean? She kept the king busy, while the others dragged you out. I really hope she's okay. It's alright, Mid. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. And as long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. <laughs> we must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the Who king. Think I'm sure of it. Clive knows the word. Good luck Rest. catching him. Because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But you have an idea. Uh, well, of course I do. My dad will have seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings. If you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. <laughs> the ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose you might still have a few pages in his stores. Well, I guess I'm gonna munch on uh, we'll snack on lolly enough. while I wait. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition, you really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. Before night. It had to be down in system. <laughs> Lovely. More cycles, Jesus Christ.
Gav said that Otto might know something. Paul said it was an army. How are we supposed to do our duty? Oh, indeed. Fancy a look at the list, do you? Anything catch your eye? Oh, hello, Omo. How are you, Omo? Thank you for the head pads. I'll be taking you all to a storehouse in the bales. Leave anything you don't need. Pack the winter sushi. Thank you. You know what you have to do. I'm still looking, so are you? Yes, I am. I fear that I must bid you farewell. As you know, our time grows short. The Lord Chief Justice's Isn't vultures are Isn't it like about 1am for you? We must strike 1 now. 1am? 2am? Before we part, I want you to know that, though I may not always have been your most vocal Were you ally, unable to sleep, Omo? I trust you. As I trusted your predecessor. Thank you. I appreciate the sentiment. And I understand more than anyone how you feel. But is revenge really the answer? It is the one I found. And it is all that I have lived for since that day. But what of Lostwing? Everything you've built. I built Lostwing to achieve this aim. Once it is done, the village will have served its purpose. My comrades and I are sure of our cause, and we shall fight to the last, come what may. But there are those Thanks among us who cannot fight. Out. Children. The elderly, bearers afflicted by the curse. I would place Lostwing in their hands if I thought it would do them any good. But a village home only to the frail and the infirm is not likely to stay a safe haven for long. And so, Clive, I find myself turning to you once more. Oh, I guess will it's that time to munch on. But they might live mm. even should Lostwing die. No morning walk tomorrow, so I'm watching some vids. What vids are we watching? Do a quick go job, I shall procrastinate the video editing for tomorrow, eh? I will. Thank you. I will not have it said that I did not see to the well-being of those who rallied to my cause. But I ordered. I, have withdrawn to go to I ordered Spain, Uber Eats away from danger in case the black for McDonald's, right? Understood. At around 3 a.m. Around 255, 3 a.m. Then the last of my are Sadly, their systems are down, so the there guy has been Clive. waiting there for quite May about 30 minutes us. now. All of us. So um, I probably won't be getting my food until probably four or something, hopefully before five a.m. God damn! All I wanted was my large fries and mozzarella cheese. The second guy is nice. The first guy cancelled the order, like didn't like cancel the pickup order. So I'm just like fuck. <sighs> dear and dear. To go to Anne's bales then and quickly. Before anyone else finds them. Yeah, quickly after I buy some stuff. Any friend of the innkeeper is a friend of mine. I hope it's to your liking. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, I hope it's, it's to your ready. liking. Hmm? The fries are gonna taste. Good, so when it gets there. No, the 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 person is still waiting for my order. I trust it's all here. He's oh, at McDonald's like waiting it. because the staff at Rapids told him told him to wait. All I wanted was this left. Of all days, they had to have to like a system going down thing like. Why couldn't you Here's go down yesterday when I didn't, when I didn't order food? Why do you have to go down on the day, on the night I order food? You're always welcome here in Lost Wing. Oh, okay, my brain not raining. It's okay, none of our brains are raining today. Tonight. Ugh. 
Lana, thank you for the stretch and hydration. Okay, and just so you, uh, during today and I'm praying I pass, I, all the best for you, Mana. I hope, hope you do well. Well, I'm just gonna snack and see which one before it comes. And wait for it to come. Man, all I wanted was my mozzarella cheese. And my fries. Gonna speed watch these few vids, the problem with exercise vids is that three quarters is all talk and one quarter is showing you the actual exercise. Yeah, that's why I like watch them. Fries are indeed yummy. I just hope I get them before on the 4 30. Hopefully. God. Everyone. Quinton has asked that you come with me. He can no longer guarantee your protection, but I can. There's a safe place I can take you to. Well, if that's what the Master thinks best. Sid, none of us would be standing here today if it weren't for Master Quinton. We owe him our lives. So we ain't about to start telling him what he should do with his. If he's saying we ain't safe in Lost Wing no more, it's because he ain't coming back. If that's what has to happen, then so be it. I only hope he can see this through to the end. That we get to see justice done. I hope so too. Oi! You lot! Where's everyone else? They ain't already left, have they? They've gone with Master Quinton. Fuck! 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 What's wrong? I've just come from the Justice's Manor. We have to get Quinton to call off the attack. It ain't just the Black Shields protecting the place. He's got a guard dog and all. A fucking monster. They don't stand a chance against that thing. If I don't get the message to them, they're all gonna fucking die. No. We can't let this happen. Sid, don't worry about us. You've got to catch up with him. We can't let Quinton die before that... Bastard does. All right. I'll do what I can. Where is this manor? Uh, it's way over to the east, through the woods. Heaven all, he calls it. Promise us, Sid. Promise us you'll do what you can. Sure. I'll do what I can. Is that far? It's very far. Thank God I looked. I was about to, like, walk the entire way. correct way yes I am Jupiter's don't tell me I'm too late we're probably too late I am alive. 
which is more than I can say for my comrades. They followed me without question all the way here. And they died. What about the beast? For nothing. Oh. There goes the answer to this my must question. Be the guard dog. Quinton. I'll hold it off. You go. But your comrades didn't die for nothing. They died for you. Don't let their sacrifice be in vain. I won't. Come on then. You're no guard dog. You're just a rabid beast that needs to be put down. Oh yeah, the um my sushi thing here, yeah, the third. Is it over? This is. He wept and begged for mercy. And I cut him from ear to ear. Just as I dreamed of doing all these years. All my plans. Building a haven in Lostwing. Freeing bearers from their chains and recruiting them to my cause. Hey, enjoy your lunch, Rupert. Meanwhile, but what is this? My delivery pickup dude Justice. is still waiting. Comrades. All those lives lost, so that I might take another. Quinton. Master Quinton. I have half. Thank you. Oh. Thank Grieger, you're safe. You. You're alive. And so are you. I'm so sorry. I... I tried to warn you about that... that... thing. And I hate to say it, but... There's more bad news. It's Lost Wing. It's been flooded. What? Now, who in the world would flood Lost Wing? Oh, that flood. I thought it meant an actual, actual flood flood with water. Lost Wing. My Lost Wing. And look who's here. They must have stolen in after we left, just before the flood struck. What if there are still people in there? Don't be a fool! He means a the flood. I didn't. I thought it was like the actual flood flood. Damn it! Quinton's not going to last long in there. Come on, Torvald. We need to make this quick. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
Why is that one all the way down there? You're finished. Where is it? Okay. Another? Okay. Went to totem. They get more smaller and smaller each time? Yeah, they do. So many buttons smashing my hands hurts. I need to get back to Quentin. Oh no, the dude's dead. Quentin. Quentin! Look at me! Thank the founder. He hasn't turned. I'm going to get you out of here. Oh, he's still alive. Welcome back to the land of the living. Is Lost Wing? The flood has filled the valley. Burn a garden. I see. Then all is at an end. A strange way to achieve one's life's ambition. No, Master Quinton. Save your strength. But it's a wine Why? winery garden. All that I strove for is gone. Only emptiness remains. I... I have nothing left to live for. What the heck are you on about? You've got us, ain't you? Don't try telling me you only freed us so you could get revenge. We're more than that to you, and we all know it. I... I thought you weren't coming back. But I prayed, and I prayed, and you did. There's got to be a reason for that. Right? Can't we just go back to how it was? You know... You, looking after us all. Your work ain't over yet, Master Quinton. We believed that you were the right man to lead us, and we still do. Your village may be lost, but it seems your people aren't, so long as you remain to guide them. But why? After what I... Why would anyone follow me? Because we're family, aren't we? Family? Yeah. And all our comrades who went with you, they felt the same. Lost Wing weren't just a village. It was all of us. It was. And as long as we're still here, 
It is, too. We can start again. Build a new Lost Wing, right here in the Bales. Can we beat our record on the Win Sushi Tournament? I mean, if I make my main one smaller, one life maybe ends, you can probably add a whole lot and more. Another begins. Why just a village? We could build towns, a nation, even. What's to stop us? That's the Master Quinton we know. Please, I am nobody's master. One, two, three, Quinton four, five, will suffice. Yeah, seven last time. After all, we are family. We are family. Huh. I hate how I remember some songs, but I don't know how it goes. I only know the one line. The one Permit line me of to the song. My request. I will no longer be needing your help in looking after my people. I'll pretend you never asked. But you must be rewarded for your efforts on our behalf. You saved my life twice over. And more besides. A bottle or two of your finest red will suffice. Of course. Nothing but the best. And I have a feeling that this year's vintage will be the finest yet. If you don't mind waiting, that is. I look forward to it. Man, I took that challenge personally. <laughs> it's like a must beat. Why is there so many? Side quest. I see what you mean by so many side quests near the end. Jesus, Lord. Lordy Lord. We're going to do this. Eloise. Clive, your timing is impeccable. It just so happens that right at this very moment... This tastes so good because you're hungry. That's why it tastes good. And what talents would those be? Why, your fearlessness and your skill with a blade. I'm listening. Well, as I'm sure you're aware, when these dark skies swept over the Republic, so too did a wave of chaos and confusion. Randall has been particularly badly affected. Oh, yeah. Many of the capital's bearers have lost their masters, or taken the opportunity to flee them. Right, Friday, I want to be having KFC for, long, for dinner. Course. Most find themselves under the protection of the fist before they get far. But the army too is in disarray, and finds itself unable to provide for its new charges. Which means, it has been looking to sell. And you've been looking to buy, to make sure these masterless bearers remain that way. Precisely. It's the perfect opportunity to free dozens more, and for an attractive price, no less. So where does my skill with a blade come in? Though we may have the funds to buy these bearers, we have nowhere to house them. So we've been searching for a place where they can be resettled. Somewhere far from the prying eyes of those who would see them enslaved once more. And we believe we have found one. Cashlock. A small hamlet hidden in a canyon. The place was abandoned a long time ago, but when the men moved out, the beasts moved in. And so we seek the aid of a fearless swordsman to encourage them to look elsewhere. You'll help, won't you? How could I refuse? Excellent. Theo? If you wouldn't mind making arrangements for the transportation of our guests, as we discussed. Of course. Leave everything with me. Sounds like you'll have your work cut out for you. I will. We have an entire village to stock and furnish. Residents and all. Even if I begin right oh, now, I'll be working about day and night. Food, I'm getting hungry. My so tummy's like get started. Oh, Try to clear the place up before the wagons roll in, won't you? I'll do my best. You will find a village in Chedra's Thread, past Laitney's Cleft. My man there will open the gate for you. All right. Wish me luck. I'm sure you won't need it. Hopefully. I hope so too. All the way down 
there? How am I gonna get down there? How am I gonna get down there? I'll assume it's gonna be this way somehow. Come on! I want my mozzarella cheese! Dude! You fought very brave. <laughs> okay, mana. <laughs> okay, okay. I probably might have to make it a tad bit smaller. We're getting more tiny and tinier. Next thing you know, oh, you see like a little speck of dot on on the screen. Okay, well, I kind of want to go down as well. Right, shiny. you burping did you have a good day lunches Some Mongolian lab as well. We can hang it. Really? That it? Oh, we can't get up there. 
Dang, I was fooled. I was fooled into think I could get up there. Let's go. Yeah. You're really taking this seriously, huh, Mana? I got it for a late it's seven now. Now it's ready to start. Okay, take care, Mana. Coming over? No. Oh, we can go here now. When will my food come? to fight. Hey, that was rude, very, 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 very good. Oh my god, what is wrong with you, Clive? Sleeping and chilling now that you ate. Ooh.
stack of the pool. The food is finally on the way. Thank God it came before four, uh, four thirty, or at. Happened before, like this with the system being down and all. Did I order nuggets? No, I didn't. I only have, I only got large fries and six mozzarella cheese. Hmm, almost, you know. Okay, I'm gonna go down and go grab the food. I'll be right out. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Anyways, I think the stuff that um, the Mac is gave me extra stuff. So I have free stuff. Got a free burger, apparently. And that is over? Oh. Back to work you go. Don't wanna hey Satan. How are you Satan? That's a big boy. This one's awake. Chronoliths are similar to Eric Stone. In that within them is hidden a virtual battlefield accessible by Clive and Clive alone. Time trial, which most. Let's see what's inside. Let's not see what's in not inside. Go. A, a blessing, oiling of that. Nah, nah, I can't be bothered. the 
all over there. How are you mean? The enemies are all over there. But why am I still in combat? That is so stupid. Why am I still in combat? Finally, Jesus! Ooh, this area is pretty big. This must have been a nice place once, and it will be again. <laughs> Oh, 
are these fucking dolls? Hounds. Oh god, those hounds are annoying. That's all of them. Come on, Toggle. Let's head back to Boklad. Okay, first things first. Is there any chest around here? But can Clive not swim? I haven't seen him swim at all. I have not seen him touch a single water. I don't think this man learned how to swim. something like a hunt area Oh, it's actually a pretty big area, holy shit. There is massive. Maybe something like a dragon or something? Maybe a dragon or I don't know, some big titan. Something the matter, Theodore. Those are our terms. I trust that you will give them your full consideration. I shall. Thank you. Him again. Someone you know? Yes. And, uh... 
No. But enough about him. How did you fare down in Cashlock? It's done. The village is safe now. You made quick work of it, as always. I should go and let Eloise know. Don't let me keep you. Uh, but Clive, don't tell her I was watching her, will you? She'll only get upset. I'll explain everything once you've finished with your report. All right. We'll speak then. Eloise, I just got back from Cashlock. The village should be safe now. Thank you, Clive. Here, something for your trouble. Well then, now that you have laid the groundwork for our little project, I suppose we'd better finish the job. The first thing we'll need to do is make sure our offer for the bearers is accepted. You're still in negotiations. We are. A trusted colleague has been dealing with the fist on our behalf, but things have been trickier than we anticipated. I suppose it's to be expected. This is the army we're dealing with. Fighting's what they do. But we shall emerge victorious in the end. Well, if you need any help, you know where to find me. I'm not sure I do, but thank you all the same. Mm. The chips are salty. The fries are salty, which is good. That's good. I need a tad bit more salt would be great. Ah, Clive. You wanted to talk? The man I was watching earlier, the one speaking to my sister. He represents the Silver Peak Consortium. It's Byron agrees. One of the bigger trading houses. I don't think I've heard of them. Well, every trader in Darmekia has. They operate across the length and breadth of the Republic. And they're still expanding. They've been trying to get Eloise to join their ranks for some time now. And judging by her reaction earlier, I'd say she had half a mind to accept their latest offer. And you'd rather she didn't? I would rather she did what makes her happy. And I would never deny her such an opportunity. Eloise saved me from slavery, and we have striven to save others like me ever since. But this was not the life my sister wanted, nor the one she deserves. I won't let her give up on her dreams again for my sake. <coughs> she freed me from my bonds, and she must be freed from hers in turn. You're a good man, Theo. I have always been grateful for what my sister did for me, and I want to repay the favor by letting her live her own life. But each time an opportunity to do just that arises, she turns it down. For my sake. She loves you. And I love her. Which is why I want this time to be different. To show her that I don't need to be watched over anymore. Though I'm sure I'll still need some help from time to time. I trust that I can count on you. Yum, Always. Yum, yum, yum. Thank you, Clive. Well then. I had better get back to work. These bearers aren't going to move themselves. That's a job for the Crimson Caravans. Hmm. Nom, 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 nom. How are we doing with the eye? Nah. Still need another thousand and twenty-five.
feel like this stream has been just side quest, main quest, side quest, main story, side quest, lots of side quests. Ah, Clive, just a man I was hoping to see. Oh, and why is that? You remember how some of Sir Wade's guardians took up residence here after the Akashic attacked? Well, now the rest have come to join him. Seems their barracks in the Lazarus have been lost to an ether flood. Now, I don't mind having a few more brave boys around to keep them animals at bay. We ain't daft after all. But we ain't got nowhere for them to bed down. Poor buggers are having to make do with haylofts and chocobo pens. I'd build them a new barracks here if I could. But where would I put them? There just isn't enough room up here on the rock. Which leaves us in a bit of a pickle. The people we're counting on to keep us safe are living like beggars. I see. And it ain't just that lot. There's bearers to think about too. There's been more and more of them turning up lately, coming from all over looking for safe haven. But there's only so many we can shelter with the room we've got. Everybody needs time to room up. People into less and less space. What we need is a new home for our new arrivals. And that's what I was hoping you might help me with. If it ain't too much of a burden, of course. It's no burden. Thank you, Clive. So, where were you Replace thinking of making this Replace all the beds with just a mattress in, in the room, well, on I the floor. I reckon could do a lot worse than Eastpool. Eastpool. It's been a long time since I thought about that place. It was a tragedy, what happened. And if any of us could have done anything to stop a it, cyclist. we would yeah. have. So many but what's done is done. And those who lived there wouldn't have wanted the village they loved to be left in ruins. I suppose you're right. The blight might be pressing in, but I reckon it's got a good few years left in it yet. There's just one problem. Monsters, a right? A band of cutthroats have made it their mind. den, and they don't seem like they'll be moving on in a hurry. Nasty bastards they are too. I've lost some good men to their raids. Would have sent someone to clear them out sooner if my boys didn't already have their hands full fending off the Akashic. But now we've got a few more guardians of the flame to call on. I reckon it's time we made our move. What do you say? Doing a raid? Why can't he lead the raiding party? I do. No, why can't I be the one and only raid was once home member? To people I loved. I won't have bandits sully those memories. I'll gladly drive them out of there. And I know the men will gladly follow you. I've already shared a few thoughts with Sir Wade about how we might be able to win the place back. And I dare say he's got some ideas of his own too. Why don't you go and talk to him? Of course. So Wade, let's hear your plan. Hey, there is no plan. We storm in from the front. So Wade, it's good to see you well. And you, Lord Rossfield. And you. I spoke with Martha. She tells me you have plans to free Eastpool and make it your own. That's right. Though it was mostly her idea. I rather fear my men have been treading on her toes somewhat since joining us, not to mention each other's. And then there are the bearers, men and women who found the courage to flee their masters and sought refuge here. We need somewhere to settle them, and I can think of worse places than Eastpool. As can I. Which is why I agreed to help you win it back. That's very kind of you. I'd be most grateful if you would. With you beside us, we shall soon send that rabble of rogues running for the hills. So, what can you tell me? That thankfully there aren't too many of them. Fewer than a dozen at our last count. And rather less, thankfully. The road that leads there will more than likely still be crawling with Akashic. A small force would suffice to clear the village. But if the Akashic were to follow them in, that force could end up trapped between a rock and a very hard place indeed. I'll head into Eastpool and deal with the bandits. 
You and the Guardians can stay outside the village and fend off any Akashic who come too close. Make sure I'm not taken unawares. I can't ask you to bear all that risk yourself, my lord. The Akashic are the bigger risk. I can handle a few bandits. Yeah, I'm not alone. Well, Torvald is sure, with me. I shall summon my men at once. Shall I wait for you here? No need, my lord. You go on ahead. We'll be with you before long. All right. I'll meet you at Eastpool then. We shall see you there. And may victory await our coming. It just dawned on me. I don't think there's any snowy areas so far in Velasco, right? It's always it's just been Greenland and the desert. And mountain areas. That's about it. And forest, well, forest, yeah. No, no snowy areas. That's sad. That's a bit sad. No snowy areas. What would be great? Boom, great. We had snowy areas. Hi, love. Hi, your fellas. Lovely weather today. You can walk in here. Turn up the tornado. Now, or face the consequences. That's the end of that then. But that was anticlimactic. Oh, not you oh, again. Not. Ew. We will not eat you. No, 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 What are you playing? You're, you're too busy, like being at in awe with the the scenes, the sceneries. So I feel like you're gonna have to go after it. Yes. That is a cool shot right there. Slime. Any more surprises? I'll take that as a no. Bravo. A magnificent display, my lord. You were watching. I thought you were keeping an eye out for Akashic. We were. Put down more than a few on the road, then arrived just in time to see you slay that... whatever it was. Let's hope it was the last of its kind. Though I expect you and the Guardians will be up to the challenge should another appear. I would hope so, my lord. Your men will be bringing the bearers who'll be living here, I assume. It might be best to send word for them to come right away. Before any other unsavory characters move in. Of course. I'll send orders for them to depart immediately. Leave it with me, my lord. Ah. Uh, good old wedge. A 
and Ace Wall is just good as new. Home. <laughs> Without masters. No. We're the masters now. Our lives are our own at last. That's all of them. And not a single Akashic in sight. Now to begin the important work of rebuilding the place. It won't be easy. Especially not after five years of beasts and blackguards having their wicked way with the place. The masonry might still be sturdy enough, but half the beams are rotted. Those that weren't lost in the fire or burned by the bandits, that is. It'll take a bit of elbow grease, but we'll see Eastpool rise again. Just you wait. So wait. Lady Hannah is buried here. If you don't mind, I'd like Oscar to join the rebuilding efforts. He should be a part of this. Of course. I couldn't agree more. I'll let Martha know that everyone Owie, writes. I'm Leia. If you need anything more, Good morning. I've only to send a stolas. No, no. And we will, my lord. Safe travels. I mean, I guess what? I have to wait an hour and a half for my... I have to go and tell Martha for the news. My, for my fries and mozzarella cheese. All because the system was fucking down. Good morning. What are you after? Your life. Nice. Thanks very much. There you go. Thanks very much. I wanted one of those. A fair trade. I wanted one of those. Thank you for the stretchies and for the hydrate. Oh. Pretty Oops. well. I wasn't done selling my things what are you yet. After? I have been doing proper stretch. Is that everything? A fair trade. I wanted one of those. Why is everybody calling me a cashew now? What have you done, Replay? A fair trade. Is that everything? A fair trade. Pretty well. Because the heavens have gone to wreck and ruin. Holy eye bags, oh no. no. It's catching on, no. Is your eye bag really bad? Really bad? Ah, there you are. All went well then. Sir Wade told me you got rid of the bandits while his lot kept an eye out. Nicely done. And what's all this about some shape shifting nightmare showing up? On second thoughts, don't tell me. It'll only give me nightmares of my own. What matters is, you did it. And now we can build our new village! I suppose it will be. What will you call it? What else? Eastpool. Sir Wade said it best. There's plenty bad happened to that place. But that don't undo the good that happened there. No need to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Did Wade say that? Well, Beyond something along those lines. Oh, I can't Anyway, that. the poor souls might have made it to uh, his pool. No brain cells to attempt any words that are not English. It, neither is mine. If it's food or lumber or strong backs they need, the rest is ready to provide it. Thank you, Martha. I feel like besides well, her you. eye bags, I guess she's very you tired as well. <laughs> I wanted to. Oh, good morning. Oh, okay. Can it be Friday yet? 
Not yet for you. Replay has to wait for another two days before it becomes Friday. No more cycles, right? Cole said it was an army of a cash. How are we supposed to do our job? More hunts. Oh, my God. <gasps> a blue and a blue and red chocobo. Don't oh, make the other sickle. Lost wings and brick. The man in black. Been awake since 2.45. Yeah, you wake up again before 3 o'clock, huh? The sickle down Mechia. The sickle down Mechia. The sickle down Mechia. No, no. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay. You wake up in the middle oh, of the night, thank so god, soon. but I can sleep at one. So you have about four hours sleep. Come to claim your just desserts. Here you are. <laughs> the not waking up up part you mean? Done. I'm gonna talk to her, remove the thing. Back again. What is it that you wish to learn? Nothing. I guess my hot chocolate. A, hey, let's go. Wait. Yeah, this way, this way. Grab me a hash brown? Why did you say that? I have a hash brown. In in the in the bag because they gave me extra shit oh, for three. I did wait an hour and a half just to fucking get my food. Twilight. Okay, I like that. What about this one? Hell yeah, we're we'll going for the good. Let's go, we'll go for the good hype hop pipe. Ah, right. If it's knowledge you seek, we've tons of We've got to go for the hype music. What do I owe the honor? What's saying for you, dear? Ooh. No scratches, alright? Did last you a good while. Not my best work, but it'll do. You can thank me later. Anything else? Let me tell you a story, Clive. I came here to buy, you, buy stuff, but... Them rumours wet legs were spreading. Might be they weren't just tales plucked out of thin air. You see, there was a time when I weren't too particular about who I sold steel to, so long as they paid me the right price. You can price. take both of mine. Some women replay. lost after blood, the others after flesh, but me? I were always one for gold. 
And to satisfy that lust, I sold to opposing armies, stabbed my every client in the back, made myself the most hated woman in the twins. But then one day, one day I met a man who made me a different kind of offer. Said he'd give me access to a realm um, community of like minded apparently. individuals in constant need of steel and sundries. On the condition I sold to him and he's alone. Was that the first time you met? The in between hot and warm, I guess. And I fell right into his damn trap. Hot and warm. He was true to his word, so I ended up being true to mine. And I soon started making the best profits I've seen since taking up the trade. And all without aiding or abetting any outlaws. Except Sid himself, that is. Mushrooms. Tell me about his plan to topple the mother crystals, you know. Said so that, that with them is. gone, the realm would I'm... want for all manner of things. An opportunity for the likes of me to mint gill. Why, I reckon an enterprising individual could find herself the richest jam in the twins. And that's when he had me. I emptied my stores that day and moved into the Ardaway proper. And the rest, as they say, is ancient bloody history. A dozen years on, and I'm still not the richest damn. Not for lack of trying, mind. But I can say that I have never been happier. You've all shown me there are some things more precious than gill. That there are. So don't you go messing it all up. Or you'll have me to answer to. You know what I've been gotten in the lab right Macis? <gasps> yes, apple pies are tasty. Ah, it's a dangerous world out there. You'll not find a better price than that. You got out else? I'll be thankful you got that much. You got out else? I don't know if they have done this early. They should have it this early. It's, it should be like all day. Oh. Breakfast thing. Who's that sulking over there? Socialist. Oh no, I feel the drowsiness time to sleep in. Oh no, that 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 um Lunch was too good, you're getting drowsy. The wrong way. I don't know, why you, why you call the thorn me? You still have top of five hours left. I'm gonna go up, like by pretty soon. Is this this lock and lock 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 tongue whatever whoever it was is this guy and just sings or does just sings is amazing okay you sing the same thing over and over okay bye This hype song is what I needed. It's okay, Rita, I got you. You be you won't be sleepy anymore. You need caffeine. God. Make some more caffeine. Yeah, you're in. Where the hell is everyone else? Don't tell me. They're all right. 
but it's a long story. I have to shorten it, Clive. You lot don't do things by halves, do you? Well, at least everyone's still breathing. Now, as for these writings, I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be sitting under a pile of rubble. I know. But we were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items we go to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that would have been mid. Then I'll check the workshop. Go make, go make some more coffee. Unless you had too much coffee already. If Amber and the Lazarus are gone, do you think this ship will ever send? This looks like it's from Sid's old diary. But you'll already have read it. I'd better keep looking. What do we have here? Huh. Sid's pipes. Something tells me Mid won't be needing these. A strange looking doll. I remember seeing this doll in Sid Sola. I wonder if it was Miz. Huh. What's this tucked inside it? The middle doll. I know you like your riddle, so I reckon you appreciate this one. Of all my invention, this one's the best. And so when choosing its place to of rest, I record your opus, Daughter of Dearest. And now it sleeps there in the first. I'm going to have to work on that last rhyme. Good luck. I like how that doll has classic FF white mage patterns. Nice nod to the series history. Hey. Sid's best invention. Hmm. That sounds promising. I haven't played much so Sid hit something in mid Final Fantasy games, probably because I didn't have access to the ones on the whatever console it was on. Perhaps I'll take mine now. I'll get you to play Possibly. more FF games. You oh. wouldn't happen to know what Mid's first opus was. Explosion 14? Ah, hmm, who knows? Tone deaf as a banshee. Unless you mean the orchestrion. She couldn't have been more than what, 11, 12, when she cobbled that thing together? It surprised us all. Not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. What's that battered old box had to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. Think of all the music I have played until like, I don't know, I got to Hell level so to 30 and I just stopped. It was boring, it was boring. I had no fun to play with, so I was just like, mm. I don't know, man, I don't know. Kids, get out of my way. I didn't break it. Well, I didn't break it. Who broke my music? What didn't you break? Nothing. We didn't break nothing. We definitely didn't break your question. <sighs> What's wrong with it? It's broken. Except when it isn't. See? 
and you had nothing to do with this. No. Nope. Okay, now, but now you got me. No. Uh, yeah, I do, but that's only one person. Like this. Can you kick it? Yes, but the one is me. Yes, it is you. This something caught on one of the gears. Did you break it? Can you fix it? What oh, these children's? No. Yeah. Yes. Okay, drag sheep in a male along with us. Ah! Sure, yeah. Sheepy. How about now? You fixed it. You said hmm. you fixed it. I mean, we could try. You could, you could try. He more than fixed it. Yeah, new music. Huh. Never heard this one before. They started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. A whole fucking whatever Don't that thing it. is. I can tell you it's important though. Oh, well, I'm trying. So it to me once and uh, Final me. Fantasy fourteen. So it was the stuff Replay has been trying off. to make me play it. Get me to play it. Let's just hope it's the stuff ships are made of as well. Indeed. Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. He's been trying to quote unquote. Fix me, <laughs> so we can we can play fourteen. <laughs> he's trying, he's trying, but he hasn't been successful yet. Just the two I was looking for. Hi, hi. Who's a patient? Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. Dion left? Oh, I forgot well, Dion was here. I forgot about him. And walked off. Yes, left. He did have the decency to leave what a message is open with world, Oblis so? before commandeering one of his dinghies. Should we go I don't after remember him? anything about it. No. We're not the Prince's keepers. He's free to do I forgot he Dion was, was on I'd here, like, on his so in sleeping. Bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Much like yours, I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? Uh, ask me when I get back. Though I may be some time. Then at least try to stay safe. Okay, well, like, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the sushi me are multiplying. If that fails, try to stay alive, eh? Because of the redeems. Every moment I waste here, the further the flagship sails. Are you kidding me? More? I have to get back. I have to get back, you say, yet there are more side quests. Thank you for the head pats. Cole said it was an army of a Nah, I don't even for fun, wonderful one of me. Blackboard told me you helped him out again. Tough for that. Speaking of which, I'm actually a bit, um... Worried about him. And you want my advice. Afraid so. It's a bit of a funny one, this, but... I saved this posh knob while I was out on a mission, and he gave me this flashy ring to say thank you. So, obviously, I show it to Blackthorn, thinking he'll be impressed, only for him to go white as a sheet and quiet as a curl instead. Try as I might, I can't for the life of me work out what could have got him upset like that. And seeing as how Blackthorn opens up when you're around, I thought... He probably thought he's your, your proposing to him. Who I'd knows? speak to him again. Well, I suppose there's no point leaving him to stew. Cheers, Clive. 
I'll be sure to pay him a visit as soon as I have a moment. All right. I'll meet you by the forge then. You come along when you're ready. To finish Blackthorn's quest series, you can craft the best weapon you can get until new game plus. Oh, color me interested. Let's go. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Your benefactors are a generous lot. Tales of Primate. All yours. Best of luck Listen. out there, Sid. Oh, and this you again. Rodrigue. Glory to Griga. There you are. I'm not a moment too soon. What's happened? Tyre's busy working herself into Yeah, 15 a is a game. 14 is literally MMO. <laughs> She's refused to stop, even for a moment. I've tried offering to see to him in her stead, but she won't hear of it. Clive, she hasn't left the infirmary in days. She's pushing herself too hard. And if she doesn't rest soon, will you talk to her? Order her to her chambers if that's what it takes. Even most as a guy has, they have much this I nice fear the to say about will be the thing. Without its best physica before too long. Fifteen was okay. I enjoyed it. It was okay, but I do like Behemoth and the flying, um, the flying controls. I, I, I absolutely hated it. Anything, but I'll speak to her. Oh, thank you. I pray you have better luck than I did. Tyre, Rodrigo is worried about you. And if what he says is true, then so am I. We all admire your dedication, but you do need to rest. I will when it's time. Until then, I'm staying put. We owe him that much. Who is he? Someone from my past. Someone who doesn't deserve to die alone. It won't be much like longer. Clive was like, you all need to rest. And Mom was like, you need to rest, Clive. If I had the tears, I could ease his passing. You were on death door a them, moment ago. We've nothing that will touch the agony of those last few hours. How would tears help this man? Not my tears. Tears of mercy. Alicia, it's the only thing strong enough. You wouldn't tire. Surely. There must be something we can do for him. Sometimes an easy death is the greatest kindness we can you offer. Fail us too, you do guess. well to remember that, Rodrigue. But then only up to level 60 is it free. After they got a I, pay I subscription will. for that. And I'm just like, mm. We have all the ingredients we need for Elisa. I don't know about one. that. It needs to be fresh, though, so we rarely have much to hand. I can make the draft if you can bring me what we're missing. So like a fire convincement to play. There is a species of venom-weeping spider that lives in the forests of Norvent, near Lorbert's Pass. Bring me one of their eyes. Preserve it as best you can, but... I'm not sure if sheep is into... I'll make sure MMO. the other ingredients are ready before you return. Thank you, Clive. I won't forget this. Yeah, it's up to, once you get up, it's free all the way to level 60 and after you gotta pay for subscription. I don't remember how much it is, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Which includes a full first expansion, it's a lot of free content, content for free, that's very true. That's very, very cool. Sid! Heard you were in Canva fetching young Ned. The base game plus first expansion. I don't know, you have to try harder for me, try harder to get me to play it. Wrong way. There we go. This 
say. Early away. Okay, now I do what you need. Sid, do you recall the flowers I had you bring back to the yard? Vaguely. Is something wrong? I'm afraid so. I was able to get most of the Morgan beards to take root, but they rarely flower. I fear the soil here does not agree with them. However, I believe I have a solution. I can't wait to hear it. I'm going to marry the Morgan beards with Morbles. I know, I know. What? But hear me out. Morbles are possessed of a highly choleric temperament. The fire which drives them appears to be maintained by an abundance of nutrient-rich ether drawn from their environs. I believe that by grafting a Morble vine to a Morgan beard, the appendages wealth of bigger-using nutrients might well stimulate the flower to bloom. The endeavor, I assure you, is scientifically sound. I simply need a vine to prove the theory. The story starts boring, but once you get to where the first expansion is about to start, from, from then on, it's a really good Morble. story. That is correct. I a don't single know vine. If I have As for the marble, I fear ordinary the energy may not to suffice. A grind. But as luck would it. have it, a most extraordinary specimen is rumored to haunt the swamps of Rosaria. Why, a notice concerning this very creature was only recently posted on the hunt board. How timely. Well, I shan't keep you any longer. I know you have much to do, as do I. Now, where did I put my watering can? So, why is it that 16 did the first 14 I don't know if, if I can do the commitment for this. The problem would be if I would be committed to continue playing for I don't know, God knows how long. again oh, and you got better things to do with your time that remains to be seen august tells me he showed you a ring and that the sight of it clearly upset you would you mind telling us why come on mate bottling it up ain't gonna help no one if it weren't the ring and it was something i said then i'm sorry it was the ring right it brought back some unhappy memories that's all Memories better left forgotten. Memories of what? There are things we'd all rather leave behind, Blackthorn. But sometimes it helps to talk about them. And sometimes it doesn't. Is that so hard to understand? Don't be like that. Fine. If it'll get you off my back. That ring you flashed was the work of Zoltan. We apprenticed together back in the day. You've never mentioned him before. Why would I? I ain't seen him in decades, and the last time I did, we almost came to blows. The ring brought it all back. I could tell it was one of his the moment I saw it. Bastards improved, though. More than I thought possible. That thing's a work of art. So it was a nice ring. Worth a few gill, maybe. What's it matter to you? It matters, because engraving metal's a nightmare, and I've got no bloody idea how he managed it. The fact is, I couldn't make anything even half that detailed. So what? You're an armorer, not a jeweler. I'm the Idaway's master craftsman. I'm not stealing a living at some backwater village forge. My armor Black keeps you not safe, and my swords keep you dangerous. Inferior as, far as I'm concerned, every swing of my hammer's another blow struck in the name of our cause. So I put my heart and soul into my work, because the curse breakers deserve better than second best. And I refuse to be shown up by the likes of Zoltan. Very well. Why don't we go and pay him a visit? Learn his secret? I doubt he'd be too happy to see me. Then just this once. Make peace with being second best. <laughs> Swallow your pride. 
and focus all your but, energies but, on the task but at we hand. Have fun playing Keeping the curse that's breakers true, armed and then that also means we've got to Provided you can do that, you'll have no complaints from me. Time zone. But if you can't, Basically. and it's going to distract you, we need to do something about it. What do you say, Blackthorn? You know he's right. And it's not like you'll be going alone. All right. Magic. So, where do you reckon old what's his name is then? Zoltan, was it? In Dravozd, my old village. Why <laughs> did so common for you, bruh? You need your sleep. The chief. Dravoz, Wait, eh? I'm not the one to talk either. It's fucking 5 a.m. <laughs> not far from Tabor, right? Just north of the fields of Carava. Got that, Clive? Meet us at Dravoz as soon as you can, yeah? And I'll make sure Blackthorn don't get cold feet. Good luck with that. I'll see you there. Awful. None of us can lecture the other on sleep. That's true. All four of us have wax schedule. Yep, yep. Exactly. Wrong way. Come on, Clive. Run faster. And since there are four of us, we wouldn't need randoms of dungeons and I've played every role I can so I can accommodate my class to whatever you guys need. Huh? Huh? And you should go for... Mage. A Therma, what's it called? Therma something. Rodrigo could have mentioned his spiders would be the size of curls. A thermos? A thermos something. Well, anything to do with, like, mage, I guess. I need to a fire. Yeah, we'll, I'll be going for black mates usually. Hopefully, one will be enough. Rodrigo will have prepared the other ingredients by now.
no tank. Well, he'd either be mage or I believe there's also was there also an archer class? I don't remember. Yeah, it's Archer. There's also Lancer. There's also something to do with guns, I believe. There's also a Pugilus, which is, which is like, um, two hands, a fist. Martial artist. Is there a garden class? Yeah, yeah. That's like a yeah. Bring your own Big a male like him.
that one then? Yes, sister three. Oh, the piano is so good. Fourteen. <laughs> around my home are crawling with the kings of Kashik. I keep the gates closed too. Speaking of Garden Class, that one is from the first expansion, which means it's included in the free trial. A. I always go for Mage. I don't go for anything else. I've tried the other classes and I didn't like them. It felt awkward. The free cities and the sea. It felt absolutely awkward playing any other class that's not a mage. Go healer, y'all gonna die if I if I go healer. You would die if I go healer. damage in the trial would be between, between Black Ridge and Summoner. Time fly kicks them if it all like steps on them, it feels like he's stepping them on the nuts. A second expansion added for Red Mage, which is a mage who can use a fencing sword for melee. Huh? That's interesting.
it down already? No. This charmer ain't letting anyone through. Why are the gates closed? Chief's orders. No one's allowed in without his say-so. Not that I'd have let you in anyway. You look like trouble. I suggest you go home. That's what I'm trying to do, you little prick. You ain't changed a bit, have you, Snotty? No. It isn't. Blackthorn. Long time no see, eh? It was meant to be a surprise, but since you are so nicely, I'm here to see Zoltan, you fucking numbskull. Now let us through. All right. Just don't go starting anything with the chief. Wolf, hello, Wolf. Hello, welcome in. Yeah, I promise I won't throw the first Thank punch. Thank you for the hydrate. Not good enough for you. Much obliged. Reaper class uses cipher. You can. You have to have the use fashion. Damn it, Kioni. Hello, Kioni. Hi. So this is Dravosht. Oh my God, am I up so late that everyone's there? coming in from the town. world? was a lad, you have to shout to be heard over the sound of hammer on anvil. How's the stream going? It's going very Clive. good. It's going very good. I'm enjoying good this a lot. You I'm speak probably to about 80 hey, something percent now, into the game, so I'm There's probably a, river of bad blood between me and the chief. a few hours but if someone to finish. Build me a bridge, I think 10 hours? 8 hours? I don't know. I'll cross it. I'm, I'm right. doing a lot of side quests. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate it. How are you, Kelly? We'll near the forge and the hill. It was our masters. He'd have inherited it. Then it's so on different classes sometimes, but I don't need to know Blood. what they do. I only go for mage. <sighs> Almost six point five. But it's just been mostly side quests. Oh, I'm turning up. How is how is watching Spider with uh, Spider Verse with your with your with your mum? I saw your Shut post. You're going to watch Spider Verse with your mum. Did you hold in the urge to not die over Miguel? <laughs> I'm so confused. You have work. Very emotional. Hey, I'm glad you enjoyed it though. Over sword my potions. I'll take it off your hands. Thanks. I'll take it off your hands. May we meet again. My god, I blush very hard for his ass. He's not nice enough for me to forgive him. But what he did to Miles. <laughs> what the ass? <sighs> I would say I'm sleepy, but actually I'm not actually that sleepy. I'm just actually very wide awake. Sorry. The coca did nothing. Oh, the door is open. All my long years Why is the restaurant being so dark? You tried so hard, but in the end. He still died over me, yo. You always, you still died over him. Mama, why hasn't Papa come back yet? Because he's dead, most likely. Oh, no, let me pet you, boy. Any more chest?
Damn winter. What? <laughs> Dude, if it isn't so, just ripped off the bandit. Hey, sometimes you gotta tell the hard truth. You got to lie to him. Perfect. Look, sometimes you gotta be brutal, have a brutal truth toward the kids, okay? You can't sugarcoat anything. Sometimes I need the hard truth. You're going to play 14 with me? Mm hmm. Who knows about that? Hotter! Hotter, damn it! Those miserable flames wouldn't melt butter, let alone iron! Pardon the intrusion. I'm looking for the chief. That'd be me. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'll bet it is. Keep the gates closed, I tell him. Well done, snotty. You're not welcome here. Get out. Before things turn nasty. Blackthorn's here. What did you say? He's traveled a long way to see you. <sighs> he has, has he? He has angry eyebrows. Waiting. Just like in Yakuza. Down by the gates. Then I suggest you take him with you when you leave. Didn't you apprentice together? So what if we did? Fuck! We're getting nowhere! These bearers' flames are next to bloody useless! We're never gonna be able to fire up the forges unless we can find some new crystals! I'm a busy man, as you can see, so do me a favor and piss off. Oh, and if you're struggling to find your way out, ask Blackthorn. May I use my sword and stab you? knows exactly where the exit is. He's not wanted here. Neither are you. All right. I'm going. Please, Chief, you've got to do something. Just wouldn't have seen it if it wasn't for like the icon. Well. Asking child, your dad is dead. But if we can't fire the forges, how are we gonna earn our keep? Shut your let me guess. Zoltan told you to piss off. As a personal favor to him, yes. The icon? Not that icon. Well, at least he didn't beat about the bush. There'll be no talking him round. Not after what I did. Which is what exactly? If we're to help. We need to know. What turned the village against you? I left. Dravoshd. Zoltan. The burden of leadership our dying master dropped in our laps. <laughs> All of it. There are two kinds of smiths in this world, you see. My kind, who are in it for the love of the craft. We will labor on a single piece from dawn to dusk to get it just right. And the other kind, who are in it for different reasons. People like Zoltan, whose work is quick and cheap. The kind of smiths who shit out a few hundred blades, reap the profit and divvy it out among themselves. There wasn't a single day we weren't at each other's throats. And bit by bit, people started taking sides. You would have torn Dravoj in half had it gone on. So, I left. You didn't have to do that. Zoltan's a better chief than I would have been. His way of doing things kept food on people's tables. Dravosh prospered without me and my lofty ideals getting in the road. Until the crystals run out at any rate. Without magic to fire the furnaces, this place is as good as dead. It depends on how you look at it, though. There's got to be other ways of making fire. We manage it in the Deadlands. Thanks to Sid's ingenuity, yeah. He saw all of this coming, 
New crystals were the problem, not the solution. And spent years coming up. They offer this quest so go sleep. You know what I mean though, right? Where there's a will, there's a way. What I'm trying to say is that it's not your fault. You couldn't have predicted this. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I don't want to be the great smith alive just because I happen to be the last. Clive. Dravosh won't last long without his furnaces. So, do you think it's time we shared Sid's bellows with the world? The way I see it, it's your decision to make. Hold on, Blackthorn. Sid made those things for us. They give us an edge over the rest. And you'd be throwing it away. All right. Do it. This place was your home. I won't abandon it to its fate. Sid's creations were never meant to be hoarded. It was only ever a matter of time before we shared them. Let this. Or the upside down time make your clothes upside down. Also, no, or we just just my one. Or we just this one here. Just this one. Yeah. This one. Of course. Ah, August. Look, lovely right there. Thank you, Clive. Shall I go and fetch the plans then? I know I'm off by art. I'll be needing some help though. Lovely, yeah. Building a furnace isn't exactly a one-man job. Do us a favor and round up anyone strong enough to lug a brick or two with you, August. Uh, all right then. And I've got a job for you too, Clive. Finding me some salamander skin. I need leather for the bellows, and nothing else will withstand the heat. Luckily for us. Salamanders feed out in the fields of Carava. Time for a spot of hunting, then. Oh, actually, I think I'll stop here. Getting real tired now. Oh, I'll continue this on probably Friday night. Whew, fuck. Yeah, I'm getting sleepy. Anybody online playing? Oh, hold on. No work. Yeah, I think I need to go to sleep. <laughs> but yeah, okay, let me redo that thing. Hey, anybody we can read? God, fuck, I'm so tired. Anybody? Where shall we afraid? <laughs> somebody to raid first. Oh, a second thought, no, no one on my end is live. Well, that's awkward. 
Okay. Anyways, I guess I'll do the normal the more bobbies. Thanks for coming by. Hope you all had a wonderful no replay. <laughs> but yeah, hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful night, morning, afternoon, wherever you are. And I will see you again. Probably, most likely. Well, it is Thursday, Thursday now, so probably at 11pm, so about, I'd say... I'd say around... Well, I can't max right now, but at around 11pm later today, I will do the reading book stream, book reading stream. And I was, yeah. Hopefully my voice isn't dead by then. But if it is, if it's still dead by then, I might uh, reschedule it to another, to next Thursday. But yeah, have a good night, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye.